Welcome in everyone. It is a Monday. The I'd lean over to see that. The 8th of July 2024. Metal Gear Solid 3 is a video game that I enjoy thoroughly. Therefore, I'm gonna play it. What's up, Danny? <clears throat> I listen, I don't wanna start this recording off this VOD off talking about Pilk. But it's a lot better than it sounds. Can we all agree upon that? Like, Pilk sounds terrible. Uh, I'm more disturbed by your glass being bent. <laughs> they are funky glasses, aren't they? I agree with that. It is pretty funky that it's bent like that. It's like curved. It's, it's, cur it's curved. I don't know how it got curved, but it, it, yeah, they're all like that. I know why, but I'm upset by the fact you did Pepsi first. Oh, I, I looked it up. I don't think you should do milk first. I don't think so at all. I, I think it should be Pepsi first. I'm not sure if there's a law to do with this, Adam. If you'd like me the other way around, I'll do it. But then it wouldn't be Pilk. It would be like... Mepsi. Wouldn't it? Am I thinking too much about this? Uh, no, for real, the bent glass is the worst part. It's so wrong. No, it's It's trendy. It's fancy. You feel fancy when you use it. Uh, oh god, we made a lot of save files, didn't we? Okay, hang on. Hey, there we go. Okay, you're gonna have to give me a second to play like a buffoon for a bit. Um, also, I think all my food is probably... Yeah, my food is all nasty. Well, that's great, isn't it? Um, I mean, most of it's nasty. Dispose. 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 Uh, dispose. Oops, I hit that one. Oops, a daisy. Didn't mean to do that. Gonna have to probably cure myself. Uh, food poisoning. Contracted from eating rotten food. Stamina will continuously decrease until cured. To cure, take digestive medicine. Uh, which one are you? A digestive medicine? You? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had to take that before. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> it's trendy. All right. All right. It is trendy. Yeah. Listen, I wouldn't be like, oh, give me the bent glass, but I like it. It's it's part of my routine now. Also, um, the area that we just came from, this one, I believe this is the one where you, you can capture that fancy creature. But I don't know when you can do it. Um... Do I have a mouse trap or not? I do. I have three of them. Okay. I'm going to try this. I don't actually know if this is the right time to do it. I'm going to give it this a go and I'll try to explain on the way. There's a creature that you can capture. Um, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's like Tsukumo or something like that. And it's like a mythical snake thing. It's like a chubby little snake. And... Um, you get something special for finishing the game with it. So I'm just going to give it a go to see if I can capture it. I don't know how much time we've got to give it. It's been a while since I've done this, so you're going to have to forgive me. But uh, I'm not in a particular rush today. I'm not here to like make progress and finish the game. I'm, I'm enjoying my time with this a lot. So I'm just going to put three of these out. I don't actually know how long we need to leave and come back in. But uh, let's figure this out together. So I'm going to run back in here. If this doesn't happen in, the, in like five minutes, we'll just ignore it and keep going. There's plenty of other things to do. I do be feeling like a chubby little snake recently. There you go, see? You know how it is. Oh, I heard the noise. You hear the noise? Yeah, we got something in all of them. So we got snake F, frog C, and cage full. Oh, right. Uh, we've got a poison dart frog and a green tree python. I'm going to get rid of the poison dart frog. I don't think that's going to be very edible. Hey, we got it! Holy shit, first time! Catch a Tsuchinoko. Mythical snake. Hey, we did it! Yo, there it is! This thing, look at that chubby little snake. Holy shit, I can't believe we got this first try. Never seen a snake like this before. Huh? Uh, okay, I also have some issue here. Number one, yes, why is the glass bent? Uh, I was talking with work. Number two, uh, why did you pour a whole fucking glass? Like, it's your favorite drink. <laughs> what are you talking? Pebs, listen, it was 80%. It 
It was like 80%, 30%. I know what you're thinking. Those don't add up. But listen, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it. I, I, I was like, if I'm going to drink, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this properly. I'm going to just drank the whole thing, you know? But you poured a whole glass. Yeah. And I drank it all after. I was determined. I was like, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to give it a fair shake. You can just try a bit. No, man, I think the ratio would be off then. I think it's froths at the top, mate. You got to do it properly. A whole glass and a bit more, to be fair. It was a bit more, actually. I was, I was a bit excited about the bit more. That's on me. That's a completely valid complaint. Hang on, how do I pull up Kodak? But listen, I don't want to make this into a pilk stream, okay? But I'm just saying, maybe you all need to try the pilking. 50-50 uh, of a small amount is still 50-50. I don't agree with that. No. I, I think the quantity, um, and e the, the presentation and the girth counts for something. You haven't answered that question. What do you mean I haven't answered that question? What other question is there to answer? Thank you. Hang on. Spec is on the uh, phone right now, but I'll get to that. Number one was, uh, why is the glass bent? The glass is just fancy, mate. It's just this fancy Nescafe collection of glasses that were bent. I had nothing to do with it. It was already here when I came here. Number two, why did you pour a whole fucking glass? That, I answered that question already. Because I was doing it properly, and um, it, it, the girth matters. Shoutouts to my people with girth. Snake, the land where Sokolov is being held. Hang on, this is not what I wanted. I want him to comment about the snake. Snake, watch out. Uh, maybe I need to call paramedic. Snake, Yay! Zuchinoko. What? Is it true, Snake? Yeah. Way to go, my man! You really are the boss's apprentice. Yes, it looks like sending you in was worth it after all. Yo, Ferg, welcome Hurry in, mate. Finish your mission and then bring it back to us. Listen, in any context, that makes sense. Chances are you to eat it? Is that clear? <sighs> And the girth is the same, even the glass is a fourth fault. <clears throat> True, specifically to do with girth, but the presentation still counts. It has to be full. I was going for a good morning to you too. We just caught a Tsukino, Tsuki, 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 hang on. I'm tired. Tsuchinoko, we got one. That's huge. All right, can I collect my traps? Oh, I can. Wonderful. I don't think I'll need them anymore, but I'll take them anyway. I am very glad that we managed to get these. That's cool. Um, did I get the um, one in this area? I think I did. I must have. I'm going to trust past Azad and say that he already got it. Okay, and in that case, we can remove the mouse trap from my backpack. We have a book. What else? What I might need in this area? I don't think I need anything else. Yeah, I got torch. I got a granada. I don't need granadas. This looks fine as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, for like off topic, but we're. Where are you up to in Monster Hunter? Oh, which Monster Hunter are you you're playing through, Ferg? Just unlocked uh, gilding, guiding, sorry, lands, and I'm struggling to get past the monkey. But close then. Wait, which one's the monkey? God, it's been so long. We're talking about world? It's been so long, I just realized I don't actually know the order of world anymore. Uh, monkey and Edgy, Stig and Safi, then you're up to speed. Ah, uh, oh, Rajang, gotcha. God, Rajang, that brings back memories. I never fought Rajang in World or Safi because I never played until I got to that point because they came out after the fact. I played a lot of base world. I didn't get too far. Well, I didn't get as far as I wanted to in um, Iceborne. Excited to do that eventually. All right, uh, so I'm looking for... Where is this one? Uh, do I have a map? So for people who... Um, or just a reminder, I guess. I'm playing through this game, but I'm also trying to get all of the keratons. Keratons are little collectible frogs that you shoot and they make a noise. They, ma they make like a wagga wagga, wagga wagga when you hit them. Um, I'm definitely using a guide to find them all, because otherwise they're a pain in the ass. So on this one, it looks like we have two in this small area. There's one in every single area of the game. And by area, I mean like every single loading screen that you pass. That counts as a new zone or a new area. So we're outside the lab. So if I show you this map over here, 
we're like here. We just came into this area. So there's one on the furthest left wall, it looks like, um, on like a little hill. And then once I enter the area, there's one on top of the house. Uh, there's multiple ways that you can actually get into the, the laboratory, but I usually just do the left-hand side. That's usually the easiest way. You can actually knock and have someone come get you. And if you're wearing the lab outfit, I think they'll just escort you back in, but I haven't done it in a long time, so don't quote me on that. Because we're trying to infiltrate this place with a disguise. Love the frogs, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh, I've just woke up again. This is the second wake up I've done today, so forgive me for being a bit tired and trying to get used to all this again. Uh, MK22, let's stick one of those on. Oh, fuck it. Let's just kill ourselves. That didn't do as much damage as I was hoping for, honestly. Well, we might as well go and have a look at the thing at least. So I think it's like over here. I don't see it from here. A snake behind me, that will come in handy. Somewhere around here. Oh, hang on, I have cat again. Oh, there he is! I'm pressing the wrong button. How do I aim in this game? Jeez. It's been so long since I've played this game. It's only been a week. Uh, hey, doggo. You can, throw, you can throw food at the doggo as well to distract him, which is nice. I want to pet the dog. Will this help? Yeah, there we go. Bom, bom, bom. Also, I'm not killing anyone, including the bosses. So it's just easy for me to kill myself like that. I do have a pill I can use to kill myself. I should have maybe have used that. Eh? Is there a camouflage I can use in this area? That might help. Ah, uh, black because it's dark, I guess, yeah. Uh, Friday, me and my computer are going to be in someone else's house, unfortunately. For Yo, your whole computer's gonna be? Going up north, yo? Gonna stop by for chicken? I'd love to, but not this time, sorry. Oh, man. Snake ear as well. I want to take some snakes with me as a weapon. I'll take this one. Hmm. Okay, I got snake B. I can now equip said snake. Oh, it's a Taiwanese cobra? Holy cow. The green tree python, I think, is mainly harmless. Huh, interesting. I don't think I've eaten this one. I haven't. If I haven't eaten it, I kind of want to keep it until Snake has a little chomp on it first. Kind of cute. See which one comes first, I guess. The schneck here. I don't know if that's a coral snake or a milk snake. What do you think? If it's a milk snake, it's harmless. If it's coral, it's not. There's another one there on that side. Alright, let's get him. Wagga wagga. Wagga wagga. Wagga wagga. Okay, and this is the way I tend to get into the building. This way. Again, multiple ways you can do that. Alrighty. Literally just fed Sky and now she's eyeing up my pizza. I know. Jeez. Dude, uh, what we've tried to time it now so that we feed Naga when we feed ourselves, in a way. Uh, and it's still like, he will just inhale his food and immediately come over to the to the table and be like, Hey, yo, what's going on here? You, ne you need a hand with that food? Oh, have a good one, Ferg. Thanks so, so much for dropping by, man. I hope you have a good day at work. 
Honestly, ours is the same way. And I've read online that, you know, at a young age, like prior to six months or whatever, you can just give them a mountain of food and let them kind of control the intake themselves. But with our Naga, we can't do that. We really can't do that. We have to control it. Otherwise, he just won't stop. All right, so where's the... Oh, it's on top of that building over there, I believe, right? So we need to just make our way over there. Um... Another silencer on this thing. Um, there's a dude over there. That guy over there is going to be a bit of an issue, I think, if I'm trying to explore that area, so I might just put him down. Don't think anyone else will go this way, but we'll see. Might be another guy around this corner. I can't remember. Okay, so there's one on top of this building. Yeah, that's the other way that you can get in and out this area. Was it in? Oh, there it is. Huh. Sneaky bugger. Got him. <laughs> that's a really cute place to put it. I get on top of this? No, it's too high. Alright, while we're here, might as well check this out. Ooh, XM16E1 and an assault rifle. Hmm. A lot of ammo in here for guns that I'm not using right now. Check if there's anything else around here. Ah, okay. Then I guess it's time to get ahead inside. Snake can climb up stuff if it's like, you know, around his waist height. But anything beyond that, like getting on this rooftop, is not going to happen. So, um, I have seen people a lot better than me at this game able to like roll off of these things and do some janky things, you know? Yeah, so I think we should put on our disguise at this point. Uh, and by disguise, I mean we should put on this thing. And with face, we could put on the, the, <laughs> the mask. I don't actually think we need this this part of the game I think this will do I think it's funnier that he's just still wearing his bandana alright I think this is the part of the game where we're using the disguise I feel really bad if I'm wrong about this I should also save we did a couple of rooms there that worked out quite well do you want to save I do and then I'll figure out where's our next uh, frog in this area this is a pretty large area uh, for this game with lots of places to go to. Let me know if you need more audio, by the way. I'm going to crank it up a little bit. This monster that comes to life from deep within a glacier as a result of an H-bomb test in the Arctic. It crosses the ocean and emerges in New York. I especially like the scene where the monster attacks the lighthouse and the one where it pops out of a valley in Manhattan and makes a big hole in a building. And the last scene on the burning roller coaster was simply incredible. And because I saw it in a drive-in theater, I actually felt like I was part of the movie. It's funny, isn't it? How you can let yourself get absorbed into these things without thinking even when you know it's not real. Distinguishing between what's real and what's not isn't always as simple as we think. Well, don't get too absorbed in your mission. It's important to take a rest every now and then. I love these games, Danny. Metal Gear Solid is probably... My favorite series, like up there with Monster Hunter and Street Fighter for me. And maybe some of the Souls games that I really enjoy as well. Um, these games are just wonderful sandboxes of possibilities and dense detail. And I love the comedy in these games too. It's so much fun. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, uh, the, the story, this one in particular, I love the story in this one. And I think this one is way more digestible as a standalone than most of the other ones. Yo, Metal Gear Solid 3, we should probably play that. Ademben-nemmed uh, uh, graphics. Well, that means. <clears throat> Alright, so in this one, we're looking for, like, top of lockers. Where are this guy's going? He was walking so slow. He's got his gun out and everything. Weird. Is 
Uh, this leads to a different area, yep. That's a different zone. I'll have to figure out the keratin down there, but the other one that I'm looking for must be in this area then. Hmm. Any more chest I was like Gears? You forgot Gears of War as a favorite game. So you're sorry, Cheese. Yeah, that's up there too. Gears of War with Cheese specifically. I wish I had more time to play a game. Yeah, me too. I was looking at the... Because um, yesterday we had a Yakuza watch party. And um, it really made me want to go back to the Yakuza games again. Oh, there it is. I see him. Oops. Uh, no, no, stop, stop, snake, stop. Ooh, hello. Uh-huh. I can I wield my gun? I can't wield my gun. So while I'm dressed like this, it restricts what weapons I can I can't use. Okay, he's over there. I got plenty of time to get changed. Being naked offers you very, very little um camouflage. As you can imagine. in here. Oh, so he's another scientist. I have to be very careful around other scientists. Because other scientists will um, will recognize that I'm not one of their homies. It's very annoying. And I want to try to get all the items in there because I think I don't know if that is. That just looks like ointment shit he's looking at me. Uh, I want to get the cigarette smoke item which is super effective. Can I punch people? Yeah, I'm just gonna punch this guy. I don't see the other guy coming around. Oh, he moved, he moved. Yeah, it's just uh, medical stuff. <clears throat> Never mind. Oh, this is another way in and out. I might take this way to get out actually later on. Um, anything else around here? Oh, okay. I don't know if there's any creatures. Oh, there's rats here. Huh. Uh, can we go up? Hey, we can go up. I don't think I really go up here. Hello. What is up here, I wonder? I'm gonna have a little explore. Books. Yo, SP! That's uh, another suppressor. That's great. So in this game, the suppressor for the uh, MK22 here, I'm putting on and off. <clears throat> because this is ye olden times, they have um, a limit to how often you can use the suppressor before it breaks. Can I open this? Oh, I can. But not this one. Hey, there was a uniform in there! Holy shit! That's awesome! Is that a spider on the wall? Oh god, it is. What kind of spider is that? Should I take that spider with me? Guys, should I take the spider with me? Hmm. hmm. Hey, Cap, welcome in! Kero, 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 Kero. Uh, smart fellas are those scientists. Yeah, well, I suppose. They don't have a bearded guy in the team. Let's put it like that. Hmm. Why did his climbing stairs animation make me smile? It's so curly. I love it. It's a bit of a layover from number two, I guess. But number two is even more precise. Like, the foot goes on every single step. I don't think that's the case with this particular one. But that's how it was in the previous one. It was one of those th features back in the day which made this game feel truly next-gen, you know? If that makes any sense. Oh, I wonder where that's from. That's cool. Uh-huh. Uh, make a coder call on the toilet. Yeah, pretty sure you can throw it uh, on the end. Oh, yeah? Okay, hang on.
I see you're disguised as a scientist. It suits you rather nicely. Well, thank you. As long as you don't do anything suspicious, like roll or crawl, the enemy should have no reason to suspect you. Sokolov is somewhere inside that lab. Find out where he is and make contact with him. Absolutely, Danny. If you want to know where these Sokolov games are incredibly is, dense with details. The people around there? I actually just read the other day that Metal Gear Solid 4, which is a game that I've um, I've played to a higher level than any of the other Metal Gears. Like I went for like all the trophies and the the big boss emblem. It's called the playing on the hardest difficulty. So I know the gameplay of that game more or less inside out. I just learned the other day, and I don't know if you know this cap, I haven't tested it, um, that apparently you can choke people out when you're holding them by shaking the controller with the uh, six axis, which I knew you could use the six axis to like, um, what was it? Reset your camo, even during a cutscene, it will work as well. But I didn't know that you could actually use it to choke someone out. And if that's true, that's incredible. Oh, wait, let me try that again. Snake, your disguise seems to be working. But don't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake. Yeah, okay, well, paramedic movie. You got some instant noodles. I uh, don't really care for the instant noodles. I see you've caught yourself a Taiwanese cobra. Ah, it's not working. The Taiwanese cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. I didn't know that, but how would I? Listen, Cap, I will never underestimate what things you do or do not know about Metal Gear Solid, the series you've never played, but you have absor absorbed so much of, you know? immediately and use the cure option to inject yourself with serum. Sounds interesting. Don't ask me. Huh? The guide doesn't say. If you absolutely have to know, then you'll just have to try it yourself and see. I didn't say anything. But you were going to ask, weren't you? About the taste? Snake is an ongoing thing with her about eating snakes. Time. She seems less fussed every time. Maybe I should talk to Sigint? Maybe that one's not working. Let's try this toilet. Sigint, what you got for me, man? So you're wearing the scientist uniform. Wearing that scientist outfit lets you pose as a scientist. Uh-huh. But be forewarned, you can't equip most of your weapons while you're disguised as a yeah, scientist. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Even when you're disguised, your cover will be blown if you get blood on your clothes or something. If you do get blood on your clothes, take them off and switch to another outfit. The blood stain should come out after a little while. Interesting, I didn't know that. Huh. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. To camouflage yourself, that's such a generic quarter call the from him. Viewer. Then select camouflage, and you'll see. Oh, maybe the ladies options. one. Okay, Alessa, and welcome you... in. How you doing? Good to see you. Ash <laughs> crawdad. Please tell me a crawdad is a type of crab. If it's not. I'm gonna be very upset. I don't think there is cap. Not a beer anyway. There's just one toilet here. Check the other side, maybe. <clears throat> Wait, where is this? Yo, Choco Chip. Yo, where is this? Can I go over there, I wonder? Is there a keratin here? Hang on. Oh, I'm just on the outside, right? Hmm. Shoddy Impala. Man. I think you can get in the locker with a sexy lady poster and make a call and get yelled at. I'll, I'll see if there's a sexy lady poster around. If I'm not mistaken, uh, crawdads are fresh water crustaceans, which, to my dismay, don't taste good. Ah, Well, you know. You know. I'm doing all right, Alessa. A bit tired. Um, I'm still waking up a little bit. Excited to be playing more of this game. I love this game. Um, Alright, we've got the one by the locker. I don't see this one that we're looking... Like, this area that we're at currently. So I'm going to assume that there's not one that I need to worry about. At least not yet. We are going to head downstairs. Uh, for the 27th one, which is in a small room at the end. I think I recognize where this one is. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm also trying to wake up, wake me up inside. Save me! <laughs> what is your go-to for waking up? That que the questions to everyone. I'm going for energy drink right now, but I don't think that's a smart idea. I could go coffee, I guess. I've made my decision with the energy drink. I don't want to double up. See what's over on this side. I don't know. Is this the other bathroom? Oh, storage. Yo, this is really good food. Holy cow. And a book. Alright. I guess it's faster to go this way. Iced coffee works for me. Hey, I haven't had iced coffee in a long time. I did a lot of that in Japan. I'm perpetually sleepy. I'm with you. I don't know if I mentioned uh, how tired I get. Yeah. That guy's coming out there. I think there's a scientist in here. No, there isn't. We're good. There's stuff here, though. 22 bullets. Uh, there's stuff underneath here. Let's get these. SVD. Don't need that. Man, where do you get the cigarettes from? There's smoking cigarette things that can put people to sleep that are super effective. Hmm. Another spider there. Uh, oh, life med. That's pretty big. Whoa, what the fuck? What is this? Uh, I don't remember this. Huh. Uh, heading back to work. See you. Have a good one, Cap. Thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate it. I make a nice coffee at work. It's 80% black coffee, and the rest is powder mix of French vanilla from the dispenser. That sounds pretty good. German Swiss coffee, if possible, sitting at desk, either playing Lethal Company or watching stream and vaping some herbs. Hey, uh, I need to buy some coffee syrup so I can make my own at home because it's too expensive. It can be. It can be. I, 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 if I'm not buying coffee straight off a machine when I was in Japan, I would just try to get one from um, like one of those little packets that you get. Why is that freaking out? Bottom. Interesting. I don't remember this little um, tunnel area. I might take out the guards just so I can explore this freely. <clears throat> but first I'll just check where the, this leads. Yeah. I assume I'll be able to access, like, one of the prison cells that are otherwise locked, right? I guess this way, then. Yeah. No, that's already open. Hmm. I wonder what the point in this is, then. Yo, I found the keratin. <laughs> I can't punch these little shit. Oh, I can! <laughs> I can punch them! Alright, hang on, but this wasn't the one I thought was in this area. Did I go the wrong way? Hang about. Yeah, this is not the one it's showing me as the next one to get. Hang on, I need to figure this out. So we just got this one upstairs, right? The one by the locker, this is 26. 27, as it puts it, is in the West Lab. I guess I didn't go to the West Lab. I thought this is where I am, though. 27. So which one did I get? Yeah, I got this one. Oh, this is 27. Then what is this one? I, I think this is... This isn't correct. Why is it showing me this one here? Near a chalkboard on the basement. The television. Okay, I see where it is. How do I get there? Granning Gork. Lab. First floor. Hmm. 
Maybe I need to head up then. Uh, turn around and face the entrance. And I'm a bit confused here. This doesn't look right. Uh, this clearly says 28. Waga waga. Well, either way, we have this one. And then if this is 28, we're going to come to this point at some point. I think this is a fixed area. I don't think we're getting there through this means. Yeah, let me run around and figure it out. Maybe I'll figure it out if I'm just running around for a bit. <clears throat> Yo, Titty Fan, welcome in, man. Uh, that looks like the room just before uh, Granin's crib. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Where the other scientists are, who are a pain in the ass. Uh, I make strong coffee with my French press, mix in sugar and let it cool. Normally we do that with leftover coffee that nobody had and went cold sick. Sick. Give me some Alessa. I've always, con well, I've considered getting something that would do the coffee in a fancier way, like a press or whatever, but I, I haven't, haven't made the, the jump. Alright, let's head out of here. Yeah, I think this is all I need from here. I don't think there's anything else. How you doing, by the way, Titty Fan Man? Good to see you. Oh, I need to be on this side. Yeah, 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 okay. All good. Clawful, welcome in. Lovely to see you. How you doing? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know how to do the fancy stuff. Neither do I. Neither do I. I have a French press made of steel because I break glass quickly. <laughs> That's the best reason to own one. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm looking for some stairs on the other side or whatever. People walking around with their guns out like this makes me nervous. This is just the bathroom though, isn't it? No, it's not. Hang on, I'm talking bollocks. It's this way. Yeah, we're going this way. We're good. I'm good. I know where I am. West Lab, baby. Alright, so now we're on the other side of where we were before. Yeah? Like, I was over there last time. See that? Now I'm on this side. This is a room. Oh wait, what's he doing? Yes! We found it! Uh, so this thing is incredible. Um, it's cigarettes. Uh, well, the gas spray gun disguises a cigarette. These, these are so powerful. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's one of the few things you can use as you're disguised. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right. I have that ready. Uh, let's have a look at this. What is this? Metal Gear Solid 3. Never heard of it. Looks cool. <clears throat> hey, yo. Hmm. Uh, make it fancy by adding syrup. Hazelnut is quite nice. Maybe some chocolate and uh, add spray cream and sprinkle some cocoa powder on top or whatever. You can be creative. That sounds really good. I would probably want something like a vanilla or a caramel edition or something like that. I like those those kind of flavors in my, my kohi. Oh boy. I'm with you, Pebs. I also need to sit down and, and make a bunch. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't act suspiciously. <laughs> oh, wait, we did this room. What am I doing? Uh, isn't this the room? Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. There's a scientist there. Fuck. He's out the way. Got it. Knockout handkerchief. Uh, knockout medicine puts uh, restrained enemies to sleep in CQC. Can also be dispersed medicine with square. Sick. <clears throat> oh, um, hang on. I guess I don't need my torch for a bit. Hmm. Yo, 
You reckon you can use it on that guy? Oh no, here we go. This is gonna go terribly. Alright, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> Wait. Gotta hope no one walks in. Yo, that's a big TV. Check out that TV in a second, hang on. Yo, where's George gone? God, he's always fucking sleeping in lockers, that guy. Oh, God, there's a lot more of him in here, isn't there? Set my work and not look suspicious. Alright, uh, we did get that Wagga Wagga. I'm gonna double check my notes for where the next Wagga Wagga is before I go into the cutscene. Professional handkerchief user, the user there. I know, thank you, thank you. I try my best, I try my best. Welcome in, Alini, how you doing? It was harder than I expected because of the confinement of a small square, but I'll figure it out where I feel like I missed something. <clears throat> Oh, I made a wave for Ghosty, but I need to animate it. Yeah, uh, uh, man, Danny, when it comes to making emotes, that you know, small stuff, it, it is really tricky. Like, it's a completely different ball game. It takes time and trial and error, you know? Um, and simplicity usually is the way I like to go with it. What was it double checking? All right, yeah, this stuff. All right, so we got this one. This one's outside. I'm not sure when we get to this point. This is 29? That's 29. Yeah, okay. I assume this is when I'm leaving the area completely. I don't recognize this area by just looking at the picture, actually. But I don't think it, it's in this building at all. So nothing to worry about until after the cutscene, maybe? When we leave. Oh, God. Uh, you can use instant or get uh, a percolator, a, a French press, or even just a coffee filter and funnel, depending on what works for you. A lot of my um, people who I used to work with would just use filters and funnels that work. Maybe it's just for saving space, I'm not sure. Wait, I do have a wave? Oh, like hand wavy? Yeah, I don't have a hand wavy. I should make one. I want to make more with spec. Um... I guess the closest thing I've got, I'm trying to see where my thing is. Where is my things? I've got like the thumbs up thing. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I've got, ooh. This is like a wave, but I'm waving at my face. There we go. A lot of suspicious people, because I'm running through here and, I'm, and I don't look like them. I want this. God, that outfit's so silly. That's definitely not a way. I don't know what you're talking about, Pebs. The waviest as gets. Look, all my hands are up. My fingers are all up. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Huh? Put that thing away. You'll spoil See that thing behind him? Drink. That's only the Ender's baby. No, oh, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. <laughs> You'll be that old wanted. <laughs> I am Alexander Leonovich Grant. I'm sure you're going to age way gr I'm more gracefully than this, Adam. Say so myself. You should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism uh -huh. to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. 
Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system. We appreciate the low clawful. <clears throat> as SS 1C. 1C. Ah, you're crocked, aren't you? Best to look with the dishes. Drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. Oh. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear <clears throat> missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well... Yo, Metal Gear Rex, Metal Gear Rex. Infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear. <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic Shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. Rocket the into a tank. A rocket. It needs something else. Bipedal, 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 bipedal. I think it's bipedal, yeah. Legs. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fools in charge chose Sokolov. I just want to close those drawers behind him. My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. This room is so well, like, about? cluttered with things. We really like it. The philosopher's legacy. Oh, this is important. The philosopher's Have legacy. Is this the, the, the first time they mentioned it? The colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, they somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. One way to put it. Funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. I'll explain That's a little bit about the philosophers yes. after this cutscene. The is there too. They'll talk about it again. But it's one of those things you can't talk enough about hey, it if you try not to understand the lore of Metal Gear. I'm going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. 
I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. <laughs> Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you My get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohard. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the God, I'm so tired, I keep yawning. Oh. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a oh, lot of so defense. Do you remember it? Uh this key will open that. Yeah, okay, door. so I gotta head back the way I came. Is this where I fight the fear then? I wonder. The vast jungle. <laughs> you can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. The fear. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. His face is so glossy. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. <laughs> I am a little bit run down, did you find that the, the pollen is incredibly high and so is the heat here. Of the great mother. The pollen is really kicking my ass. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. We must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. Oh, God, well, capitalism. Oh. We do have an air purifier that sometimes Specs puts on. Um, the air purifier does mess with me a little bit, but when it's this high pollen, it's worth it. Like for an hour or something. He usually does it. Do you mind, Spec? Thank you. Yeah, Spec's gonna turn it on. Good point, to I did, I just, for whatever reason, I didn't compute. It's usually Spec who puts it on after I've complained about it. Because I forget. Get out of here! <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here! All right, let's head out. Um, for food, as much as I want to use this against someone, I do want to eat everything that he can possibly eat. So I'm going to give it a go. Can't complain. Oh yeah, uh, Titty Fan, I caught the uh, Tsu Chinoko. He's here. Uh, I've already eaten that one. Uh, what else do I need to do? I don't need to heal. <laughs> <laughs> I got it like first try, Titty Fun. Very happy with that. Alright. Shit. Wait, what? Weird. Alright, well, should I just die here? Yeah, we should just die here. Oops, that's not going to make dying any easier, is it? Kill me! Should I just use the thing? Hang on. I don't have the thing equipped. Or do I? Why can't I use this? I guess I can't use it because I've got the uniform on. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Hurt me more. Oh, I'll talk a bit about the philosophers while I'm getting shot in the back. So, um... 
They mentioned Volgan has the philosopher's legacy. The philosopher's legacy is basically funding. It's a lot of capital. It's a lot, of, like a, an endless deep pocket, as they mention it, right? So that's the way to think about it. The philosophers themselves was a group of people. I think it was like twelve people or whatever, and they were a, they were like a committee of people who, using their combined wealth, could move you know pieces on a board. Volgan's father or whatever they mentioned was a part of uh, that collection of people and through legal means or whatever happened post them being a committee he is now the sole po in sole possession of the philosopher's legacy in terms of like what this philosopher's legacy looks like um because it's hard to wrap your head around just like endless deep pockets right it seems to be like this film i don't know how else to describe it like this film of um Ooh. like this small square film and whoever has that has a lot of money, basically. Hi, Naga. What's up, buddy? This will this will be important in the future of Metal Gear as well, like the way it connects to the overarching story, specifically to do with the Patriots as well. Um, can I jump out here? I don't think I can. Oh God, I can. Well. Where does this lead? Just leave me outside. Ooh, what are you? Are you a camo? <gasps> Yo, face camo! Yeah! Man, I've accidentally picked up so much camo. So happy about that. Let's see what we've gotten these days. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to come in handy at some point. Uh, we've got zombie as well. Snow. I think that's it on this one. Desert. I thought I got chocolate chip somewhere. Uh, in terms of uniform, yeah, we picked up fly. Stinky camo uniform. Uh, Fleck tan. I don't remember this. Desert Tiger, on its stripes, snow again. Chocolate chip, there is. Big fan of chocolate chip. Uh, we're about to be out in the leafy area though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some of this. Oh, right. On this side. Okay. Oh, God, my aim. That's the way I came in. That's the way I want to leave. Check what this guy's cycle is. It looks like he's not moving. It's just... Oh, he is moving. Ooh, what is that? Is that like a stun grenade or chaff? Yo, more silence and stuff? Incredible. Oh, I f didn't even notice that the first time. That there's a little box. Uh, if I shoot that with an actual gun, it should turn off the electricity. So be careful coming around here because I know there's bloke. Put them down. It's easier that way. I could do that with the uh, the doggo as well, but I find that the doggo is not too much of an, uh, an issue when you're on this side. Oh, if there's another one of those cobras there, I might take another one. It was like over here last time, wasn't it? I don't see it. No. Bub. That's our time to exit. 
Is it, uh, fear time now? It might be fear time. It's totally fear time. Shit. Okay. I should have equipped the right weapons. Uh, I'm not gonna go for any gimmicks for this particular fight because I'm trying not to kill anyone with the lethal means, so we're just gonna fight this guy normally. This guy can be a right twat. Which cheese straw are you referring to today? Are you talking about the food? Come into my web. It is time for you to feel the fear. Feel the fear. Look at him. Hi, Naga. Uh, with the stun grenade. Oh, I don't remember the stun grenade one. I don't use a stun grenade one. I remember you can put food out for him and he goes for it because he, he, he goes through stamina pretty quickly, doesn't he? Like his camel, I think. Okay, first things first, let's take care of his. Also, I have Cat on me right now, so I'm going to just let him get settled on me first. Uh, Use serum. Yeah, and then this one, suffering from a crossbow bolt wound. Uh, Bolt extracted, still got a wound. Let's do one of those. Maybe septic disinfectant, there we are. <laughs> uh, for this fight, let me go with... Um, do I have infrared? Got night vision, but not infrared? I thought I had infrared. Huh. Oh, juice. Okay, well, in that case... We'll go with night vision, I guess. I apologize, it's gonna look like a mess. Fake death pill, stun nid, shoot all of his stamina with the AK. It's too cheesy. Stun all of his stamina with an AK? Huh. Uh, takes out his stamina even with a normal gun. That I didn't know. Do you want me to try this, Titty Fan? Shall we give it a go? Hmm. I don't think I've ever actually tried this particular strat. Um, fake death pill, stun grenade. If you wanna, or maybe save and fight normally afterwards. Um, I guess we could do that. Yeah. Let me let me give it a go. Yeah. Let me put down a save then. I guess. I haven't really experimented with this fight before. I'll get right on it. I do like the technique of throwing out food, like bad food for him, poisonous food, and that gets to him. I thought that was really funny. Snake, be careful out there. Don't worry. So what's the timing for this titty fan? Like I'm gonna do it just based on what you've written, but I don't remember the timing for any of this. Okay, so maybe if I go over here. And then I do big death pill. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to activate that. Whoops. Is that a problem? Just when the real fear was about to 
Oh, I think this is going to be a problem with me getting up. I shouldn't have done it here. Welcome to Deacon. How are you, how are you doing, man? you got to nade him as fast as possible, and he runs a bit. So that's the trickiest part. As in, i got to get up now? Okay, hang on. Wait. Fuck. Yeah, I messed it up. I messed it up. Uh, let's reload. How do I reload from here? Can I go back to the title screen from here? Yeah, we can. Additional settings? You are. Oh. Fun. You gotta nade him as fast as possible, and he runs a bit, so that's the trickiest part. Okay, okay. I think that thing that I'm next to is also a fun way to hit him. I'm not sure. Let me try that again. I've seen that before. Uh, I can confirm, Deacon, that no. <laughs> Wills did not. Wills is currently at work. There's also an easy way to do it with a trap. Yeah, 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 with a trap specifically, right? Yeah, hang on. Let me try it from here. I don't know how close I need to be. I don't think that's close enough. He needs to be closer than that. Uh, let's see if I can throw a grenade at him anyway, now that we're here. Neither did I know my will said that I'm not relevant. Whoa! I didn't see you were in here, perp. Hi, both of you. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, uh, where's my stuff? Wait, did I just equip the wrong one? No, I didn't. And then, hang on. Get our AK. Yeah, I do have too many things, it's true. My eyes! My eyes! Wait, where'd you go? Oh yeah, he's almost completely dead! Where is he? Oh my god, there he is! Dude, holy shit, that was a massive cheese! Where'd he go? Oh, I've got to try this again. Can I kill myself? Quickly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Dude, that was insane! Yeah, down to one stamina. It can beat him all at once, too. That's insane, dude! That's crazy! Alright, let me try this again. Okay, let's try it from here. Does he come any closer to the trap? I might need to go a little bit further than this to get him with action. There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't think I did it right. It just hit him a little bit. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, well, let me, let me try that again. <laughs> Yo, Deacon, thank you so much for the three seam streak, man. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed the Yakuza, mate. I know I did. Let's try it from here. Uh, I'm fake deathing myself so he can come over and hit this trap. Just when the real fear was about to 
Okay. Revive myself. I'm gonna equip the right stuff in case this fucks up, right? So I'm gonna equip the um the AK and I'm gonna equip the stun grenade, and then on this side I'm gonna equip the uh night vision. Okay, so let's get stun ready. <laughs> no, I don't think this is the right way to do it. It's funny, but it's not the right way to do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna kill myself again. I thought there was a way for him to hit that particular trap and for him to be, like, completely done. But I guess it's very specific. It's not hitting him when you set off the trap or whatever. Because it doesn't do enough damage. Let's try that again. I love walking into my brother as failing. It makes me feel better about myself. I am not failing, Diesel. I am experimenting. Thank you very much. I just saw someone do it, but trigger the trap after the stun it. Oh, shit. To finish him off? Oh, Titty Fan, that's fucking brilliant, mate. Hang on. How you doing, by the way, Diesel? Welcome in, buddy. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, stun grenade. Okay, okay, okay. So, about ear again, right? Big death pill. What? Does he get any closer than this? Oh, he does. Yeah, turn around, my friend. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There we go. Revive. Get the grenade ready. Get up. I did it! <laughs> I did it! I did it! That is the fastest I've ever took out the fear. That's insane. You better tell your brother about this, Diesel. Tell all your friends about this. Oh my god, that was insane. So hang on, does that count as me taking him out through non-lethal means? It must have been, right? Right? I'm going for a no-kill run here. I know technically he killed himself or whatever, but I didn't commit the killing there. Uh, it must have been because the stun grenade lowers his um, stun bar. Yeah, the uniform is right there. Oh, fuck the uniform. Where's the uniform? I don't see the uniform. Oh, there it is. Hey, we did it. Yeah, listen, I'm tired. All right, let's uh, let's sort some stuff out. Suffering from a deep cut, bleeding, no bandage applied, not yet disinfected. All right, well, uh, disinfectant, one of these, and a bandage. Still bleeding? What do you mean still bleeding? This one? Yeah. Uh, poisoned, inject serum. Uh, use a knife to get this out. And then... Stitch it up. Bandage. Splint. Septic. Disinfect. Okay. Uh, don't take out the arrow. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. What was important about leaving the arrow in? Titty fan. What was important about? Do I need to reload? Do we do this again? I like leaving the... <laughs> what do you mean you like leaving the arrow in? <laughs> because it stays the whole game. Oh, that's hilarious. That is actually pretty funny. You experimented better than I did in university. Hey, I have my regrets. <laughs> and you can get heaps of arrows in you. I didn't even realize you could get a bunch of arrows in you. All right. Well, that was a very successful run of that boss. We already have the uh, the frog from this area, so we just need to leave. That was the first time I did that boss fight like that. That's a lot of fun. I was once an adventurer like you. And so I got to take an arrow to the knee. I think it's okay to use that again now, Will. I think you're good. Welcome in, by the way. How are you doing? As long as you don't use the knife, the arrow stays permanently. That's fucking hilarious. Does it drain your health at all? 
Uh, we're back. We're back with all these people being alive. Okay. Well, uh, let's eat some stuff. Got so much of this now. Um. I'm gonna puke. That's good. That's very tasty. Very tasty. Not yet eaten, really, huh? Huh. That's weird. Uh, it heals fully, just a bit slower. That's so weird to me. Speck. Speck. Speck is on the way because I have Cat on my lap. And he's giving me that very tired look at me. He's like, are you going to move, mate? Are you sure you want to do this? I have claws. Uh, do I need to take anything else off from this side? I would like night vision. Yeah, let's put it on. For funsies. What am I doing here again? Oh, crap. Oh, he saw me, did he? Um, you're seeing things, mate. Is he coming up here? Nah, he's not coming up here. There's another guy there. Oh, Spec is here for a hug. Hi, Spec. How you doing? No, oh, look at him. He's so beautiful. He's such a beautiful kitty. I'm going to show off my kitty again. Uh, I tried going for those frogs, but it's couldn't find them during the motorcycle sequence. That's the hardest part, Will. I remember the only other time I've done this was on the PS2. And uh, I was trying to explain to people who maybe don't know, like, um, hitting the frogs um, is usually, like, 90% of the frogs are very easy to get the confirmation that you've made contact with them because of the wagga wagga, wagga wagga. But the last sequence where you're on a rail shooting part, you have to shoot them while you're whizzing past them. So you kind of have to pray and hope that you hit them square. It's really, really tough. I'm showing off my cat again because I can. And because I, I, I found it... I've never caught my cat yawning before and sneezing on video. Look at him. Look at him. What you up to? Good morning. Oh, God. Sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Good morning. How you doing, baby? Hmm? No. Big yawn. Did you have a good sleep? No. No? Not enough? Okay. Yeah, it's too early. It's too early? Okay, you sleep here then. I leave you <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> then he went back to sleep. Oh, incoming ad. Apologies. I think an ad is playing right now. But the cat would make a better ad than the ads themselves. Alright, uh, what are we doing? I think I'm leaving this area first, right? Yeah. Oh. Don't think that guy is coming up here. <laughs> Hello, fresh on the side of Naga. That would honestly make me more willing to go with Hello Fresh than anything else. You need a bigger endorsement than that. Who's that? Oh. Well. I fucked up. Oh, that not work? I thought that was a technique. Hang on. Wow, dude, that gun is incredible. Nope, that didn't work. I think you shoot them and roll into them, it knocks them out immediately. <clears throat> I knew they were going to be hard to hit, but I looked around everywhere and could only find one at the last little segment. Good luck finding them. Yeah, I haven't done it since the PS2 days, so I know it's going to be rough. Said to be not eaten yet. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Best of luck, cheese. Appreciate the luck, buddy. Who's there? Right, are you coming up this time or not? He is. Oh, he's coming up very slowly. What's wrong? Who's that? What? Radio, we need backup. Really? Huh. Oh, 
I think that's all of them. Noodles! <clears throat> Do I have a bullet in me? Deep cut. Man, I'm always suffering from a deep cut. Alright, that was a bit messy, but it did the job. Is this another SP? Yeah, I want that. Surprised that they, um, they respawn. Okay, was it this one? How do I get through here? Thermal goggles, this is where they were. Huh. I thought I had them during the, um... The fear fight before. Or maybe it's this one. Nope, not this one. Maybe it's this one. I thought it was ground level. Oh, weird, hang on. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Right. Then if I climb the mountains, there'll be an underground tunnel leading to Groznigrad near the summit. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. Why is my brain drawing a blank? I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. I thought it was this door for some reason. This is very short. I'm just going to run around outside and hope for the best. I'll figure it out. Oh, it's this one. Okay, never mind. We did it. Croissant for breakfast? Hooray! Hey, GG's on the croissant! Oh, we are here. Okay, hang on. I know where the frog is here. Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here too. Is he alright? He's fine. Right now, he's busy putting the finish. I don't think I've heard anyone refer to him as Dr. Sokolov. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase 2 tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Top of the mountains? Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Oh, well, where? Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary hey. called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? <laughs> ridiculously old guy. <laughs> He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. God, I can't stop yawning. I'm so tired of it. Is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. Nice. Who either the... Um, I was going to say something, wasn't I? Oh, getting on top the uh, the mountain area, there it is. Pain in the ass, in my opinion. Got him. Oh, 
Ooh. Book. But then anything else fun around here? Seems like this is a climbable tree. For some reason. Why do we climb, Bruce? Why do we climb? To shoot fruit. Something in there as well, hang on. Hey. Bird. Frog. Frog. Got a magpie. Tasted bad. <laughs> Snake remembers this one, eh? Where else did I get? Tree frog. Not a not yet eaten. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna puke. Uh, what do you think the butterflies think about being flashbanged? I think they loved it. Or my honest opinion. Big fans, I'm sure. Oh, talking about big fans. Uh, I need to get rid of one of these. I suppose. I need space. Gonna get ourselves a parrot. Ooh, is that a milk snake? Or a coral snake? It's, it's coral, it's coral, it's coral. Yep, that's Coral. Said to not... Said to be not bad. Okay. Well, take that under advisement. I got, um... Uh, Yab Loco Moloco. That sounds wonderful. This looks wonderful. I love it. I'm very excited to try this out. Look at this. Has anyone else tried a Yab Loco before? Yeah, that's what I said. It's an apple? What do you mean it's an apple? Yabolko? Yeah, Yabolko's an apple? Why don't you just say an apple? Like... Rabbit! Yo, I got some rabbit. <laughs> I feel bad about kicking a rabbit in the face. Is this a 100% gourmet run as well as non-lethal? That's correct, Deacon. That's correct. I'm, I am always experimenting with food in this game. Alright, uh, we should probably set up for this fight. Uh, I'm going for a non-lethal playthrough, so I don't think I could sniper this motherfucker. I'm going to have to just get to him and do stuff to him. Um, I don't remember all of the fun ways you can deal with him. But I'm going to try my best. Oh, excuse me, God, I'm so tired. Oh, God. Who are you calling loco? You should know Jab Jabolko. Jabolko. One of your monsties is called Jabolko. Jabolko. Uh, or as in one of your Kingdom Heart creatures. Oh, is that right? Huh. Wait, where the f where am I? Oh, this is a new area. I need to look up where we're going. Hang on. It's Jabolko, by the way. I don't know what's a Yabolko with you, huh? Huh? Listen, I'm tired. All right, we got this one. This was the last one we got. We're in a new area now. Um, that was 29, right? Yeah. So we were there. We crossed over into here. This is on the left hand side, so we can go left or right. We want to go left, even though I'm very curious about this particular segment here. Uh, maybe we can do a full circle, and then we can go south or east. I think east is what leads into like an optional area, but I could be talking bollocks. Yeah, we want to go here, to the house. I remember that one, and that's a completely optional area. 
okay, for first things first, let's get this one. This is number 30, which is to the left. All right. Yabolko apple? Apparently Yabolko is an apple. Who would have funked? Yo, let's all learn dig together, honestly. What I love about this community. I assume there's people here, right? Just sort my camouflage out. I don't think I usually go this way. Oh, there he is. What the f- That has never happened to me! Holy shit! That's really loud. Did you see that? There's a fucking hole there! Titty fan, did you know that there was a hole there? Oh my god! I've never seen that hole before! I never forget a hole! Holy shit, man! That's intense! Oh, my neck is wet. Thanks, Spec. <laughs> Got him. Waga waga. Waga waga. I think it's Yabuki in Serbian. Yabuka. Yab Yabuka? <laughs> ah. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah, fudge. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. What? Okay. We're good. No, we're not. Someone else is here. Okay, yeah, this is bad. We should die. Can you, can you kill me, sir? Oh, there's so many of you. Oh, this makes it so much easier. Wow, I took that grenade very well. Holy shit. Yabuki! I feel bad that I missed the Yabuki watch party. <laughs> if there was one Yabuki watch party, Deacon, there'll be another one, mate. Don't worry about it. I don't think I need to shoot this again, but just in case. And then I'm gonna go the normal way that I tend to go, which is right. Oh, there's a little alcove in there that I can hide in, that's cute. Should be bloke over there. Like, I know he's there. There he is. There's a trap here, I can see it. This looks super suspicious. I almost stepped in it. I think there's a man patrolling down there too. Hi Naga, do you want to rest here for a bit? Oh, hang on, I have cat for a bit. I'm gonna save. Do you want to save? I do. 
Oh, cat is taking a shower on me. Wonderful. Snake, have you seen the Magnificent Seven? Sorry. It's a remake of the Japanese classic The Seven Samurai, only in a Western setting. Oh yeah, um, Pub and Wills, could you describe to me Deacon's voice, please? Finally, the village elder can't stand it any longer and decides to hire someone to protect the village. Seven gunmen respond to the call. They teach the villagers how to shoot and prepare for the army. Sounds like a deacon. Mm -hmm. But then the enemy shows up at the okay. village with a huge band. Then what happens? You'll just have to see it for yourself. I don't want to spoil bluish, it. Bluish tones, yeah, okay. Movies are only fun when you actually watch them. There's something you have to experience for yourself. Interesting. I think there's another block around here somewhere, unless this is leading me into the area that I wanted to go to. I feel like this is where something like the therms might come in handy. Yeah. Oh, shall we do the thing? Shall we do the thing? Hang on. Okay. Oh my god, I'm nervous. How do I do this again? R1 square. Oh, it didn't work! I shot him in the neck! There we go. <laughs> God, he's gonna be asleep for like a year. Oh, Sm Deacon sounds like a Smurf. His Smurfs are blue. I think there's one down here too, but I could be wrong. Is this the way I'm heading? By the way, is there like a little funnel to the right? Yeah. <clears throat> you son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Hey, we made it. We made it. We did it. Alright, so this area is pretty wild. This is a completely optional part of the map. There's a bunch of people here and like a building. It's kind of hard to show it off here, but you can kind of see the topology here. I want to take out as many people as I can, not kill. Uh, I want to put them to sleep because I want to explore this area fully. I know there's like, there's at least a weapon here, I think. It's been a while though, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, this is definitely an outfit combination I did not see coming. There's definitely some fun stuff here, I think. I do have enough silencer, so I think we should be fine. Uh, but this place can be tricky. There's a lot of people here. Okay, there's a guy all the way down there. Yeah, and I know there's some people that come up to the left-hand side of here, actually. I should wait for them. Uh, this way. Yep, two of them. I can see him. All right, let me see if I can get in position. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. There we go. That did not work. It looked good. Got him. Got him. I'm wasting a lot of my silencer ammo. With shots like that, I mean. Alright, uh, next. I think it's relatively smooth sailing until I see the house here. Here we go. We've got a bunch of people here. Try to get that guy first. Gun up. Scope on. Ah, he's going to be out of my vision soon. Here we go. This guy. That is head. That is fucking head. Oh, I wasn't. My gun was not poised. There we go. Ah, he's gone. Nope, there he is. There he is. 
Right there, right there, right there. You ready for this? Three, two, one. Got him! Three, two, one. Got him. Yo, shout outs to Titty Fan and his tech. <laughs> right in the eyeball. Sound asleep, baby. Alright, I know there's still another guy out there somewhere, but fuck it, I've took out enough of them, I think. That's not what I intended. Hang on. There we go. Give me the stuff. Uh, found the thing. Okay, let's have a little explore around. I know there's some stuff down here. These areas in this game I really enjoy. And I feel like these were a thing to come. Like, I feel like they capitalized a lot on this design when it came to, uh... Peace Walker and to five. I'm not always in the mood. I'm not always in the mood for it. Who speak? Fire support request one four nine point two nine. Is that right? Huh. I think there's a gun on the other side of this. Over here. Hey, there it is. M63, American light machine gun. Cool. Uh, this is definitely an outfit that is being worn on this day. Hang on, what am I wearing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. What is that? That is um, Cloud with uh, another crab's treasure. Dude, Krill, Krill, Krill. Yeah, that's his name. Welcome in, Toffee Cake. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, you can also sneak into this place through here, which is kind of neat. You can do this a lot more stealthily than what I'm doing. Um, but I'm having... What's the word again? Fun. That's it. Can I shoot the... Um, radio? Oh, huh, weird. I'm good. After about five hours of farming, I finally have a Kirin. Yo, GG's. Holy cow, man. I'm so looking forward to getting to that point. Five hours, though, that, that doesn't speak to me, I'll be honest with you. Because I'm wondering how far I'm going to get in the game before I move on to Monster Hunter Stories 2, you know? The, the biggest thing for me, moving from 1 to 2, <clears throat> um, is just the potential to do co-op missions. I don't know if there's many people still playing that game or whatever. There probably are not. But that's the thing I really want to do. Uh, I guess I can just start heading back now. There might be some other tidbits that I could find in this area. Uh, like in the right hand side over here. But I don't think I really care. I got what I wanted. There's a little arc over here I'm interested in. Where does this lead? It's just like further up a hill or something, so you get like a vantage point. So it is. That's really interesting. Huh. Yeah, and it looks like a supply. Cool. That's really fun. I guess I could take this place out, couldn't I? Let's do that. Uh, do I have any C3 on me? I don't think I do. Maybe Granada will do. I'm a bit close, aren't I? That didn't seem like it did the job.
This seems like a pretty sturdy building. Oh. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, I've got TNT. That's better. Alright, we're out. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra. Uh oh. Gun is this, okay. They must have walked up on the side. Shit, I missed. What the? Oh no, this is bad. We'll shoot this guy in the leg. What's wrong? And I'm gonna shoot this guy, wait for it. In the dick. There we go. Maybe one more time in the knee for good luck. Maybe that guy in the knee as well for good luck. There we go. This should be good. Now we just wait. Just my <laughs> no, now you're gonna fall asleep and that guy's gonna be waking you up. Huh? Shit. No, okay, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Wait, hang on. Whoa. That guy should be falling asleep soon. How many do I need to shoot him for? Alright, I'm leaving. We're leaving. I plan on getting all the monsters, then moving on. Oh, gotcha. But I just had some bad rolls on the RNG, I think. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, I'm already in this area. I can die in this area and we should be fine. Kill me. Kill me like you mean it. Hang on. I'll help you. No, I shouldn't do this because I might kill them. No! Oh, God's sakes. Are they all incompetent? Excuse me, good sir, can you kill me? Hello. Kill. God, oh, they're terrible at killing me. I'm probably gonna do the same thing then, Toffee, I reckon. I haven't looked at the trophy list yet, but I might consider that too. But, you know, with it being a very RNG game when it comes to some of the stuff, I imagine that might just be a case of, like, if I end up getting lucky with some of the trophies, maybe I'll do it. But I might not grind out too much. Given that, you know, it's already, it's already a fairly long game. With it being a JRPG. And then moving on to the next one's going to take a long time as well, so. All right. Now we can move on. The cool thing is, as you heard when we came in the area, that guy mentioned that he was hungry because he took out that star, star house. I didn't think it was going to work immediately like this, but it's really cool that it does. I think that just makes them like more susceptible to being stunned. They have less stamina and some other shit. <clears throat> Yo, Fox, welcome in, man. Good to see you. How you doing? Yo, are we already here? Oh, we totally already here. There are three frogs because there's three massive areas here to do this. I beg of you. 
Grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. Oh, I see. He's getting his energy from the light, I from the sun rays. Slept enough for one you know, if he had a significantly skimpier outfit, I think this would be more effective, don't you guys think? Yeah, let's say we put him in some like some torn tights and maybe a bra. I think that would look really good. I'm doing alright, Fox. I I'm a little bit tired. My eyes are really itchy because I'm I'm suffering from allergies right now. But other than that, I'm doing good. And this is one of the best games ever made. I agree. I am here to send you to your He breathes through his clothes well. You'll make a fine quarry. Okay, excuse me, I'm sneezing so much and yawning so much. Oh. That's the end. He's a legend. Oh, I've got you, Titty Fan. Don't worry, buddy. It has to be the head or the bottom. Which one are you looking for, Titty Fan? What about the forest? Never. I see. Well, that forest is divided into three areas. A river, a plateau, and a clearing. He should be lying in wait for you in one of those places. Bottom. Makes sense. this may take a while. It'll be a test of endurance. Makes sense. Be careful, though. From what I've heard, the end has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? <laughs> what is he, some kind of monster? To the forest, too. So, in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. Nah, screens don't do me any favors, Fox. I got a bit of a headache, to be honest. It will it will be fine once, like, the, the weather kind of sorts its shit out. I'm going to stick down a save here. Snake, you want to save? I do. Yeah. You might not want to. Why wouldn't I? Well, it just feels like something bad could happen. Lol. It's just your imagination. I hope so. It would have been great timing if last week I ended here and we saved and we booted up the save from here a week later. That would have actually killed the boss. <laughs> Which is true, I'm not making that up. If you save your file, wait a week, boot it up, he dies of old age. Make sure you come back as soon as, soon as you can. can. I guess that's what she's alluding to. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, maybe a G-string and some nipple tassels, uh, just to expose maximum skin so he can get the most. Exactly! I just want him to thrive, you know? Never <laughs> speak again! <laughs> what are you talking about, Wills? Uh, now you'll be more effective in combat, absolutely. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, that actually happened to me uh, the first time I played the game. No way, Fox, that's awesome. I do not need a silencer on that thing. Uh, Alright, let's start heading towards the building. So I've got to get... My, my first objective is to get all the um, the frogs. So I need to get to the building. Which I think is on the left-hand side of here, I think, maybe. Yeah, there it is. And he can pop me from here. Like, if I reveal myself here, because I think he's... Yeah, you can see him. He's, like, up there. Little shit that he is. Uh, and he will just pop me when he's ready. I wonder if I can, like, poke my head out. <laughs> Got him.
pop, 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 pop. Right, what do we got? TNT, some stuff, some stuff, more stuff. Hmm. Where are we going? I thought it was an error. Are you excited for the remake? I am. The, the more they're revealing about it, Fox, the more excited I am. To be honest. I think there's a lot to do about the remake that I find absolutely fascinating. From the choice of game to their approach of making it, like, basically one-to-one. -one. But they're not shying away from, like, you know, adding crouch walking in and over-the-shoulder camera angle as opposed to, like, you know, this. Which is quite different when you think about it. Like, even if I wasn't in first person, hang on. This is quite different from traditional over-the-shoulder stuff that we're used to doing nowadays. Uh, I'm going to get ready for bed now, but first, <laughs> thank you so much, Clawful. I appreciate it. I hope you get some wonderful sleep. Uh, so the first frog is, like, on... Hmm, it's around here somewhere. I also want to know if the, the bird is around here. Sleep? People in Japan are allowed to go to sleep here. Oh, there it is. Shit, I missed. Bollocks. Can't believe I missed that shot. Well, he's off into the next area. Let's see if we can get him from over there. Right. The f oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, he came back. And then he flown off again. Interesting. Is he on a loop? Wonder. Whee! Hmm. Okay, don't want to miss this time. Got him. Cage is full. What can I say? What can I say? Got him. There he is. Parrot captured alive. This bird looks familiar. Huh? 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 I wonder if there's any codec call to this. Hang on. I'm gonna try to be in bed before 10. It's been that kind of day, week. Not awful, just intense. Need a long rest to reset spells. Take care, lovely humans. Have a good one, Clawful. I really do hope you get some rest. Best of luck for the rest of the week. Have a good one, Clawful. British. <laughs> what do you mean, British? Where did that come from, Purbot? Snake, the end is a veteran sniper. He's hiding somewhere in those woods, waiting for you to appear. Yeah, no shit. If he sees you, he'll shoot without hesitation. Make your way through the forest, hiding along the way, and watch out for signs of the end. Anticipate his movements, and yeah. come up on his side or get behind him for a chance to attack. Be careful, the end uses a special kind of tranquilizer round. If he shoots you with one of those tranquilizer rounds, you'll start to lose stamina fast. When your stamina gauge reaches zero, you'll pass out. If you're hit by and then what will he do with me? Go into the survival viewer right away and treat the wound. Use your knife to dig out the needle. If you run out of stamina, it's all over. Make sure you keep your stamina up by hunting for food on a regular basis. No, it... This battle will be a long, grueling sniper duel. But don't let your guard down. Not even for a single moment. I feel like most people who uh, think about boss fights in Metal Gear as a whole, as a series as a whole, I think the end boss fight, this one that I'm in right now, comes up a lot. The binoculars and first person view. Okay, I'm just checking if anyone has anything to say about the bird. If you run out of stamina, you won't be able to resist the effects of the end. When you have a series. Snake. If he shoots. Snake. I thought there was something. The end is a renowned. Hmm. Socro Vienno Forest is a big place. 
It's times like this that the map function in the Psycho Mantis for sure. Yeah. Friend. Actually, Psycho Mantis, if this was one of those um, family feud thingies where, like, what is the top answer for boss fights in Metal Gear in terms of popularity, I think Psycho Mantis would be number one. Hey, you've got thermal. I do have thermal goggles. So Interesting. I really thought there was some dialogue pertaining to it. I guess not. Anyway, so uh, I have the end's burb now. And I can actually use it to my benefit. So if you equip the bird, assuming that you caught it alive. Where is he? There we go, parrot. I need to unequip something first. Uh, I guess I'm not going to kill him, so I'll do that. You can throw the cage out, which will release the bird. And he'll fly in the direction to the end. So if you're not sure where he is, you can use that. Another way that you can tell where the end is is by checking the map. The map will um, pinpoint like locations where he can be, sniper points. So those are the locations he can be, I believe. Uh, and it can also ping you the exact location if you've been shot from there. Or if you've noticed being shot from that direction. Uh, it's just better known so it becomes more famous. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. And rightfully earned for the both of them, I think. Yeah, I I'll try showing it off um, during the next section. Oh, uh, wait, you don't get to the end by finding the Shagahod? Nope. Or the Stronghold, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. Wouldn't that be simple? The end is not at the end. He's here. He's here and now. Oh, I should put the sounds on so he doesn't hear me, I guess. There we go. Alright, and I think I need to properly walk around this area to get the full map. Oh no, they're generous enough to give you a bunch of the map, so there's a sniper point to the left behind me and straight ahead where I'm looking. Yeah, which I feel like rings a bell. I don't see anything shining there, but he could still be there. If you keep an eye on him when he's running away, he will go in the direction where he's going to. Like, the end doesn't disappear, you know, and reappear somewhere. He does physically move in that space. Yeah, there you go, see? So now that he shot at me, and I look at the map, yeah, there it goes. It tells me exactly where he is now, because Snake has detected where he is. Unlike me, I just made a fool of myself. On that subject, though, I really need to pee. So I'm going to do that and grab myself more drinks, so I shouldn't be long. Wait, hang on, what did I just miss? You fucking what? You say what? What did you say? Did you know that you can also snipe the end right after a cutscene and skip the boss fight entirely? Yeah, I got the trophy for it last week, Fox. Uh, I'm going for a non-lethal playthrough, so I did it and then reloaded my save. But during the first cutscene where you see the end wheeled out of the building, you can get the sniper rifle just before it, and you can take him out before this fight. If you do that, you skip this fight entirely, and it's replaced with a bunch of, like, generic ocelot unit members. Which is kind of funny. What did you say instead of Stronghold? Oh, I said Shagahod, Perbot. I said Shagahod. Uh, Shagahod is like the equivalent of Metal Gear in this. I thought Wills was referring to, oh, you find him, uh, you, you don't get to him before the Shagahod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the Metal Gear in the game. You know. Shagahod? Yeah, yeah, it's called the Shagahod. You never shagged a hot? Okay, on that, I'm going to quickly go and pee. BRB. <laughs> Minecraft reference? Nope. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Just keep, keep going, keep going. Okay, where did the other the guys go? below you? Okay, how do I CQC? Uh, you don't want to CQC with this weapon, you just want to shoot. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Shoot him. Uh, shoot him. I forgot the button! <laughs> no, 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 no! Put that away! Put that away! Put that away! Wait, stop. Uh, get your Russian, get your Russian. Okay, that's a Russian. Why wouldn't it be L2 and R2 like every other game? There's, no, because it's a PlayStation 3. They, they fucked up the triggers. <gasps> You can do this, you can I'm do this. So breathe, 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 breathe. You can do this, you can I'm do this. I'm so stressed! No, 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 you can do this. You can... No, no, don't, don't, the other way, the other way, the other way. Okay, you're gonna see a person and you're gonna shoot him. I see Surprise, him. motherfucker! Oh god, oh god. No, no, you wanna help those people. That, Is okay. this a bad no, one? Yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot. Yeah, that's right. Just, just, you know what, I'll take it. Shoot him in the cross, who cares at this point? That's it, keep going. Keep going. That's it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Murder there we go. one. Shoot that uh, one too. Shoot that one too. Murder two. Okay, turn around. Uh, it. It's by the fire myself. exit. I'm there might be another dead. exit. Haley, <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I... you confirm death please over? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Haley's dead. I think we should try to get in and get a body. I'm not dead, not yet. 
Oh, oh you know, she's not dead! <laughs> hey, Lynn, welcome in. Hope you're well. Haley, could you continue to confirm life? Uh, so far? <laughs> oh, there's a spider and it's carrying uh, somebody. I'm gonna die. I'm cornered. I'm definitely dead now. <laughs> uh, critical injury. <laughs> to cloud for a second and then back not one bit oh clouds grown up so much in this game oh he cqc hugged her my man you never see. No, next time I'll handshake hug you. <gasps> Are they gonna do it? <gasps> they did it! They made a baby! Could have been Barrett. <laughs> Could have been Barrett! Damn it! Could have been Barrett. Woo! Cloud Juni ain't coming, baby. Well they fall. Oh they frogging! <laughs> <laughs> I return with a bounty bar. Um, this might help my energy level. My eyes, man. I don't know what it is about the allergies today. It's really fucking hitting me hard. Like, uh, I'm really, really tired and feeling out of it. Uh, I just feel like I want to apologize <clears throat> for just being a lot slower today than usual. But I'm going to have a bit of chocolate. Maybe that will help. <clears throat> I'm so tired, Purple. I'm so tired. <clears throat> Can you make the tiredness go away, Purple? Alright. We got 32, 33 of the keratins. There's one more. Um, over here. So, the sniper dude is, um, where am I? Sniper dude is here, I guess. So I'm gonna like shoot him or get shot. Go this way, head down, find this bad boy. You know? Wait, does he tired that often? I am tired. I'm sure you could take tiredness away, that'd be great. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Mmm, bounty. Very good chocolate. I like coconut. Oh, where is he? Oh, I'm behind here. All right. Oh. Sorry, Per. I'm just tired, Per. Where is he? Oh, there he is. That oh, dude almost shot my head off. Foolish boy! Oh, he ran off. I missed. Maybe I should do it with a silence so I guess I missed. And I have a base of this. Oh my god, this is... This might be the most tired I've been on stream for a long time. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm usually tired. This is like another level. Power level of blonde hair kind of tired, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Um, I don't need this. Or this or this. I don't mind having... This. And you take my tightness as well, thanks. I might as well at this point, Wills, if you want to give it to me. Ooh. 
Good fall. Good walk. Pretty tasty. Mm, tasty. I don't think I've ever had rabbit. All right, to the next area. <laughs> One of the things I find interesting about Delta is the um, <clears throat> with the new fidelity of what they're doing with the remake. They've acknowledged that this game has a very strong filtering over it, right? Like, this game is very, very green. So I'm interested to see what it, what it will look like without such a strong filter. To have more color in it in some ways. Right, where did I say this last frog was? Hang on. Sorry, I mentioned I was tired, right? Whew, this frog is like really far south. Um, behind the circular thing. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about him. Just a second, I want to get my frogs first. Yeah, that should lead up the hill. Yeah. He could be there, actually. I wonder. Might as well have a look while we're here. Ah! Is that him? I think that might be him. Let's get some sh sneaky shots off, shall we? Is he asleep? Motherfucker. Is he, al is he allowed to be asleep? <laughs> There's the sniper. You can actually follow him as well, which is quite funny. Can't believe he fight like a man to me. Look at this grass. I'm <laughs> so rude, I know. Alright, so I'm on this side of the map. I need to be on the left-hand side, I believe. Okay. So the frog, if I am reading this map correctly, is like down here. Whoops. Around here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, now I don't need to worry about that. We can just focus on the fight. Um, do you have a broken leg? Yeah, that happens, doesn't it? Bandage and splint. Uh, he did shoot at us, which should reveal his location. Yep, there he is. God, he's miles away. Holy shit. He's like a sniper or something, eh? Uh, we can go up by the left-hand side to see if we can get close to him. Not sure how long he stays there before, like, repositioning himself. Oh wait, this is not where I'm thinking it leads. Oh, I'm heading down. Whoopsie. Hmm. We can also follow his footsteps as well, I forgot about that. He leaves tracks. He's up there somewhere, right? How far ahead of me is he? He must be quite a bit ahead of me, yeah. Don't know how close we can get. I wonder if I can get to the next area and then get up on him. Sneak behind. Let me try that. But the fact that he saw me going here, which means that he, he might move as well, I'm not sure. I don't know this fight super well. I don't usually have too much trouble with it. But um, I don't know like all the different things that you can do in it. It is a fun fight, for the most part. I can also understand if people don't enjoy it and get quite frustrated, because it can take a long time, I think. It can also be very quick if you know some tricks. Uh, the sound of suffering in space. 
Well, Dan, this sounds really easy, doesn't it? Do I have a space helmet on? Do we have a microphone in, in on the helmet or whatever? Because otherwise, in the vacuum of space, don't you hear nothing? Welcome in, by the way, Dan. How are you doing? Let's see if this works. I'm going to get all this out. Once you verify, I will, I will figure out a sound for you. Guilty Sturgeon? What, you got to be guilty about her, per? What did you do? Island Mockingbird? You know what you did, Per. <laughs> uh, let me check the map if it still reads like he's in the same location. Ah, it doesn't. Okay, so maybe he moved when I moved. Oh, did I say Violent? I meant Violet. Hey, Dan, do, do you want me to make, like, zero sound? Because, you know, it's in space, right? Or do you want me to pretend like we have a space helmet on and there's oxygen in there and I'm mic'd up? Perp, I looked up the game on Steam like you and Haley told me. It was nice that it allowed family sharing. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, crap. GG's. Where is he? Oh, he's still there. This actually did work out. I thought he had moved. Okay, is he still there? I don't see him. Oh, I see him. There you go. He runs really quickly, by the way. It's insane. Uh, but we might be able to track him. Yep. There he is. He's going back to the other position. And you can hear him panting. Son of a bitch. He, he heard us coming up as well. There you go. Is that him? Or is that just some mushrooms? Uh, it depends on what bit you want to do. You can do whatever you want, whatever's a funny one. Okay, okay. Hang on. Yeah, another noise impression for the next code name. A hairy cop. <laughs> All right, hang on. We've got a couple of noise redeems. Let's, let me bang those out very quickly. Um, where, where, where are we going? Where's my normal ch is this chatting? Are we chatting? Oh, I've still got the old mugs in here. That's cute. Hang on, let me grab the mug, the new mug, so I can put the new mug in here. Um, we need to head back to this area. Uh, right click, copy. And then we, we can paste it in here. Uh, hang about. Um, where, where did I put these mugs? Is it, is it just in here? It seems like everything is in this one folder. There we go. And if I paste this bad boy and make it bigger. Sorry, I'm just sorting out my milk. Is that big enough? I think it's big enough. And we're just going to move it down here. There we go. Welcome back, Cheese. How are you doing, man? You talkative falcon, you! Alright, first noise redeem I got was from Dan. The sound of suffering in space. Let me just do that very quickly. <clears throat> Let me just mute the game audio. Actually, there's nothing coming through the game audio. We're good. Alright. <clears throat> There we go, that was suffering in space. 
The next one is uh, from Perbot, the next code name. Code name is Harry Carp. Hmm, Harry Carp. Uh, okay, I got this one as well. <clears throat> there we go, that was a hairy carp. Done. Uh, was that a necromorph impression? <laughs> Seems about right, thank you. Sound like an animal mating call, I mean. I'm scared. Another sound redeem execute like a true professional. Thank you so much, Deacon. I'm glad someone can appreciate it. Teal tell us, ooh. Why am I colors? I don't know. Maybe you should tell us. Why are you colors? Teal is a wonderful color, though. You know? Alright, uh, shall we finish this guy off? Oh, we should eat something. Our stamina's pretty low, and I've got like a bunch of stuff that I haven't tried before. This one tasted great. Unbelievably tasty. Taste unknown. I guess we didn't save it last time. <clears throat> I've had enough. Wonderful. Um, just one of these. Not so great. Not so great? Dude, it was like an apple. Come on. Ah, oh, snake. There he is. He's gonna do that. I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> this is so undignified. <laughs> Look at him go! Oh, where'd he go? I lost track of him. Uh, did he make footsteps? He did. He went to this area. Oh, I need to show off the bird thing. I'll show off the bird thing in the next area now. So he's definitely in his next sniper spot, so we've got to be careful here. Uh, so he went up that way, so chances are he's probably in, like, one of these down here. He could be that one, which is right near us, right? So this is where we can use the bird. Uh, I don't remember exactly how this works, but if I throw this bird out, it should head in the direction that he's in. Uh, did it reveal his location on the map, I wonder? No, it didn't, but I'm pretty confident he said something and he's, like, probably over there somewhere. Yeah, he's- he's crawling. Keep it down, yeah, you can hear him! He's like, keep it down! Got him. And that was the end. Spirits of the forest, I thank you. The boss would be proud of you. The time has come for a younger generation to rise. I've been wandering for more than a century, and now my journey comes to a close. What a splendid way to end it all. I have no regrets. I can return to the Forum Arlan.
The bird was his downfall. I love that there's some weird supernatural elements to uh, Metal Gear. A game that takes like certain details and real life thingies so seriously. <clears throat> Do we still have the bullet on us? Huh. I guess that ma magically came off. Uh, so we defeated him. I need to find his corpse. To get the camo and I think his weapon, but I don't remember exactly where he dies. And oh, it's right here. So that's a tranquilizer sniper rifle, but where do I get his camo from? Um, if Tiddy Fan is around, Tiddy Fan or maybe Fox, if anyone else knows where I need to go, please let me know. I don't remember where it is. Nah, no crouch camera on these guys because they, they remove themselves from existence. Where he died in the cutscene? Was that not where the... the gun was? Oh, it is the Mozin Nagant, right? There's no camo associated with him. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's been a while, dude. I forget these things. This is huge, though. If I remember right, this is a sniper rifle which is non-lethal. Ah, you hold him up to get the camo! Son of a mother, titty fan, man, why didn't you tell me? What do I- Should I reload? Did I, did I save when we started fighting him? Hmm. I'm gonna- I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna do it. We, we had a good run. We had a good run. I'm not gonna do it. I did save. You're right, you're right, you're right. I did save. Uh, to adjust press triangle. Okay, is this, is this a tranquilizer sniper rifle? It is a tranquilizer sniper rifle, okay. I, you're totally right, Tiddy Fan. I completely forgot that was the way you did it. That you held him up and he did a little he does a little shake for you, doesn't he? And that's how it gets it off. Is it worth me reloading the save or shall I just leave it? Uh, for this playthrough, I'm just trying to get the frogs. You know what I mean? And I didn't mean to insinuate that it was in your fault in any shape or form, by the way. I was just joking around. It's not necessary. I don't think it's necessary enough either. Let's fuck, fuck it. Let's go. Because to be honest with you, mate, that fight went really well. Uh, and I'm afraid that if I reload and I do it again, people will realize I'm actually a fraud and it'll go terribly. All right, we're in the tunnel. Um, Where the fuck is the frog in the tunnel? Is it just... Guys, I found the frog. Got him. Is this it? Oh my god, is this the moment? It is the moment. Alright, um, in terms of Metal Gear Solid as a series, as a whole, this is one of the most iconic moments in the whole franchise. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm stamina up for this, hang on. Uh, I haven't tasted this yet. It's poison, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, did we eat this yet? No. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Okay. Nope. Nope. Yep. We do this properly. I'm going to crank up the volume. You might hear a lot of ap atmospheric noises and I apologize. It's worth it.
that was good. That was good. That was good for me. It was good for you. You're welcome in, JP. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, I love this game. Wait, why did we lose so much stamina? What, what's wrong with me? I mean, is this still something wrong with me? Something wrong with me? Weird. Oh, it's probably because I'm naked, and it's cold. There we go. Congratulations, by the way, Purbot. I'm glad you have defeated the boobs. Um, I hope that new boobs do not attack you until you are ready for new boobs. We are not going back down this ladder. Uh, referring to earlier conversation, by the way, as a new wave confirmed. Hey, GG's. I, I was just vibing in the background and the snake eater pulled me out. <laughs> it does that, doesn't it? That's what we're going for, JP. Wonderful to have you along. Oh, that's adorable, Pebs. Oh, I love the way that works um, as a repeatable thing as well. That's really cute. Yo, welcome in, Unknown Warrior. How you doing, man? Yo, thank you so much for the follow, JP. Really appreciate it, man. <laughs> Little guy alert. Look at him bop. That's awesome, Pebs. Welcome in, Warrior. How you doing, man? Uh, you, you did just eat a poison. I did. I did. But I took, I took a little cure for that, I think. You know? JP fun guy, I believe you, Pebs. Whenever Pebs has reviewed anyone, um, it's always been 10 out of 10 accuracy. No one that Pebs has ever said a good word about has I have disagreed with. A, a Pebs review is an accurate review. Which is one of the reasons I think Pebs doesn't talk about me. She's on now, eh? <laughs> oh, right. We're in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh, have I got the best camo that I can possibly camo around here? What we got? Sure. Ooh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Spider's always going to be better. Desert Tiger. Huh. Hmm. Kind of want to be Chocolate Chip. I'm going to be chocolate chip because I like the sound of it more. Also, I need to look up where the next um, next thingy-mobobby is. Where is the thing next thingy-mobobby? We, we picked one up in the tunnel on the way here, right? Yeah, we got this one. I'll share what I'm looking at. Um, hang a boot. So we just picked up this one before the, the ladder climb, right? And so after the ladder climb, where are we? I guess we're here. Yeah, it's at the very, very end. Excuse me, on the left-hand side. Yeah, I remember this one. It's basically, to the right of this is like a little... Um, uh, how do I word it? It looks like a gate made out of desert rock. I'm, I'm sure there's a word for it. Not a tunnel. Gateway? Listen, I'm tired. There's a word for it. I'll figure it out when I get there. I talk about you a lot. What do you mean you talk about me a lot? You talk about JP or me? Uh, it's Rocket Bubble. I changed my name to match my YouTube. I know the social media. Oh, no way. Dude, welcome back in. But I guess, hang on, I should go by Warrior now. Unknown Warrior is a pretty cool name. And 438 is so much better than the 437th version, in my opinion. I have my first Cheetos experience. They are so nice. Yo, the crisps? They are. Big fan. Use chopsticks to eat them to get all the cheese with none of the mess. You could do that, and Deacon's not wrong. If you're trying to do other stuff at the same time, you don't want to get other things dirty. But hear me out, Danny, and I know people are going to have different opinions on this. If you just fucking go in there with your hands, right, you can lick the powder off your fingers afterwards. I'm just saying you can. I'm just saying you can. Tools! Where you been, Tools? God damn it, man. You make student housing for someone and you never see him ever again. How you doing, Tully, man? Where you been? How you doing? What you wearing? Oh, there's vultures here too. I guess we should take a vulture with us so we can eat it. Oh wait, hang on, let me get rid of that guy first. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to practice. I want to practice. Um, give me a second. Equip. Gun is poised. Uh, scope. Ooh, the scorpion's here too. Actually, we might try and get a scorpion to throw that at another guy later on. Okay. Maybe here is good? Wrong one. Here we go. R1 square. One, two, three. I missed. Oh, he didn't have his gun up. Okay. Now the gun is up. Hang on. He puts his gun down. What's going on there? Is it because I'm crouched? That can't be right. You do sometimes see animals fighting one another. It's rare, but I'm pretty sure you still see that. Yeah, here we go. Missed. Missed again. Got him. That was on me. I was expecting more um, time travel of the bullet reaching him. That's why I was going a little bit ahead, you know? Alternatively, I just washed my hands. Ah, I'm sorry, Danny. There's always next time. I've had a busy day. I'm training some of the guys on my job. Oh, you're doing the whole training shadow thing again? If you don't get the cheese on your fingers in the first place, you just got that much more in your mouth through the cheetoing process. Yeah, you're not wrong, Deacon. There's advantages to it, but I feel like that lick of your fingers, dude, it can be, like, exquisite. Especially if it's, like, salt and vinegar or prong cocktail, dude. Get some of that potency on the finger. Mmm. Oh, I can see the thing from here. There he is. Got him. Uh oh, that's not good. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Exit stage left. Use two straws, we don't have straws either, no! Use two forks backwards, we'll figure this out together. Listen, use both your fingers. Ever eaten crisp with a spoon? I have never eaten crisp with a spoon. I don't think I'm dead against it, Danny. Um, but I've never even had the thought to be perfectly honest. In fact, there's so many new creatures around here. Have I had whatever snake this is? We'll get a vulture along the way as well. Ooh, that gives me two. That's cool. You notice there's a little tunnel there. I guess I can go through that tunnel and appear in that tunnel to take out that guy, right? Take him out just in case. The man there, see if I can run past him before he turns around. Okay, crouch down so that guy doesn't see me. Let's hit Wagga Wagga again. That looked convincing. Shit. Okay, we've got a guy coming from behind, and we've got the guy coming in front. Go. Cool. I severely underestimated how much um, the terrain slows you down. Do this again because I want to hear the noise. Yeah. I am satisfied we leave. religious for some reason. There, there is something about it, and I couldn't put my finger on it, Toffee Cake, if that makes any sense. Like, it does sound wrong, but the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh, I mean, you know, whatever. Sometimes you gotta eat with a spoon, I don't know. Oh, this is the one where there's like a scorpion somewhere on the wall or something. I forget what it is. Oh, maybe it's a snake and a vulture that kind of have like a little bite or something. I don't remember what it is. Anyway. Is that a spider or a scorpion? That's a scorpion. 
Ah, you son of a bitch. As tempted as I am to trank one of these and throw it at a person, I think it might kill him, so I'm not going to. That man is coming. Uh, I might be in trouble here. I'm going to try box and hope for the best. Oh, he maybe doesn't go all the way here? Is that what I'm led to believe? Yeah! All right. Can we go underneath here? Is there a thing? No. Yeah, well. I don't want to kill this guy. Uh oh. Please don't fall off the edge. I know there's a block directly above us here. How soon can I get up on this thing? Okay. Take one for the team and do it next time I have crisp cereal bowl, bitter milk crisps, and jobs are good. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably going to be healthier than most of the cereals out there still. I'm running really low on uh, tranquilizer ammo here. Might knock this guy out instead. With my hands! Dude, you gonna turn around? I got places I feel like I need to be. Where's that happening? I'll be fine. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Speak! Vultures. They feed on human remains. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, I don't think this leads me to the next area from here, but you can't- Oh wait! I don't have the thing in this area, do I? Shit, I didn't look. Hang on. I might have passed it. Um, we've got the one in this area. Oh, the next one's the mountainside on the house. Is this really all one area then? Holy shit, it is one area. Huh, that's wild. The next one is behind the- one of the huts. Okay. For some reason, I thought we were about to go through another loading screen, but we're not. Mosin and yo. Okay, so let's see what we have. We've got a block down there and a block up there. I can't aim that far down for him, but we can definitely get this guy. There we go. This guy, I think I should take from behind. As easy as it would be just to... Just to... Just to do this. Alright, fuck it. We're done. I 
don't know if there is another guy here. Oh, I can see it from here. I should have maybe shot it from when I was on top of the thing. Got it. I think the helicopter might see me. I'm not 100% sure. This is um, a food warehouse. If I take this place out, it might make them all hungry on the other side. But I also don't want to risk killing anyone, and I'd have to move the other block out of the way to make sure he doesn't get killed by it. Though it might be one of those instances where, like, it's a technicality, because, like, the bomb exploding is what killed him, not me directly. A white rumped vulture. Hmm. I could go for seconds. I could go for seconds, yo! <laughs> Just take it from behind. Did I word it like that? I felt like I didn't work it like that. Oh, I should probably pick up more of the calorie mates one. These ones are the best. You know? Hang on. Like, better than these anyway. There we go. Oh! Oh god, he scared the shit out of me. He's gotta hurry up, the other people are gonna wake up, the ones that was choking. You had another one, why didn't you eat a second vulture? For later! I, my, my thing is full. I don't think this guy is moving out the way. He's not hearing this either. All right, listen, guys. I'm gonna run right at him. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go pa pa like this. Just fucking pa pa in the face. Ready? Just pa 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 like that. Just judo in his face. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Whew. Psych myself up. And I'm out. <laughs> he literally asked for seconds though. He did. Bless his heart. Alright, uh, I fucking hate this place. Hate is a strong word. I'm terrible at this place. I'm gonna go and save it and figure out where our frog is because he's gonna be a pain in the ass to catch here. You wanna save? I Hold do. On a sec. Yo, save number 20. Hey, Snake, have you ever seen My Mother Was a Teenage Spider Queen from Mars? She making up some of these movies? I can't say that I have. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, according to the map, it's on the far side um, of where I currently am. Uh, like, bottom right. Okay. All right, you know what, Deacon? Just for you, mate. I'll check if he's hungry enough to go for seconds. Hey, that's good. There you go, mate. That was for you, Deacon. All right, so like, it's meant to be over there somewhere. I'm not sure how to avoid the helicopter, though. For now, he's not giving me too much of an issue. I'm more worried about all these blocks, and I don't have much ammo. I don't think I can get up this hill, can I? I have to go around the other way, right? I'm definitely going to get seen at some point. I think, for me, it's best to run around and just get a lay of the land again. Oh, uniform. Oh, yo, there it is. Got him. This was a, a part of the Delta trail I showed off this area. Oh, there's a guy up there and there's a guy there. Okay. I would use the sniper rifle that we just got, but it's not silenced. So as soon as I let loose, someone's going to hear me. I'm going to pick the people carefully. That guy up there is going to be a real issue, I think. He might see me on approach and might not be sure what he sees, so he might ha head down. We do actually need to go through that red door on the way back. I'm going to check if there's any ammo for some stuff around here. 
grenade stuff, right? I know if I go through there, I end up on the other side, which might benefit us. But it's always tricky coming out of these holes. Because you're not sure what you're going to find. I know where you're digging. I, honestly, Deacon, I feel better too. But we could go that way. Do we try that way? Where does this lead? It's sloping up, which is a good sign, because that's where we need to head. I'm glad they carved out these perfectly human-sized tunnels. Has anyone ever been in, like, one of those air ducts? You know, like, the, you see them in spy movies all the time, right? Has anyone found themselves ever in one? I mean, found yourself. I assume you went in there on purpose, if you have. No? Hmm. I feel like I want to try going in one. I wonder where the nearest one to me would be. Claymores, eh? Yo, got some more ammo. That's huge. Accidentally went into an air duct. Whoopsie. I don't think they would generally hold human weight. Is that right? Hmm. Step bro, I'm stuck in the duct. Wait, what? Wait, wait, I don't understand the sentence, Wills. <laughs> Are you saying that your step bro got stuck in one? Which way am I going up? This is going to be important. I want to try this way. Oh, this was not the way. Maybe it is the way. No, this is not the way. The other way. Oh, I see a bunch of people. Damn it! Ah, he already saw me. I'm close enough, I might be able to make it. Yeah, I think we're good. Don't worry about it. No, please go to details. Acquiring minds need to know. I can't too tight. Fine, I'll do it myself. Wait, what? That sound effect Smash Brothers. Oh, he is in Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it refers to the zone category of step siblings getting stuck in places and zone ensuing from that. Who is zone? Oh, hello. Wait, Purbot, am I supposed to replace the Z with a P? Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Zon is a bad guy from Toy Story, is right? <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, man. Well, that was quick. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. <laughs> Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase Ask her if she's ever been stuck in an air duct snake. Come on. And it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? 
His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. Hey. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. Ramen. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohat is. Finally, there's the west wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The West Wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be Colonel Class to get in. Colonel Class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Rydenovich, we meet again. Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind, they won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? <laughs> Little snake is thinking. Right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For 10 years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? Uh. Uh. Mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake? Is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. <sighs> S 
snake? It's the chocolate chip camo, isn't it? What's wrong? Shadowheart always makes me think of Shadowloo. Oh, sure, I can see that. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? Again <laughs> you know, with the Freudian stuff? Yeah. Part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid. The ideas are really fun. I do think the execution is a bit no uh, like ham-fisted at times. Yourself. That's kind of impossible with the type of writing that comes from these games. What a bad pickup line, yeah. Like, let me talk about your, um, your pseudo-mother for a bit. And this complicated mission and this clearly emotional distraught that you're in. And then let's fuck! Why is this girl so horny? I'd fall in love if I was paid, even with you! What a shitty pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't ride with a motorcycle with your boobs out, that's so dangerous. Agreed. Amen. I couldn't have put it better myself, Danny, honestly. There we go. Make sure that we everyone gets a good chance to get this warning. Not the pin! <laughs> it's just 20 minutes, Danny. 20 minutes and it'll disappear. 20 minutes of just good, solid advice through pinning. Oh, wait, I accidentally unpinned it. Fuck. Hang on. Pin it again. There we go. Reset the timer. Colonel. Did he talk? No. He died before I could get it out of him. Was it the spy then? Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <sighs> but does this mean Granin was the spy? It's so funny that this guy is just Perhaps like fucking an, a mutant. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I guess the whole Cobra unit were mutants. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report oh. it to the authorities? Oops, uh, let me go and deal with that, I guess. Let this me find a cable. War, Major. The Cold War. Fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades. The C3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then, who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss. Yo, still rocking the Attack on Titan cosplay. Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it. <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. 
fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagohad and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's Legacy. <gasps> the Philosopher's Legacy. The Legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. And that's why you shouldn't ride your motorcycle with your boobs out. gesture back at him. That's cute. Oh, I'm in a box. Uh, suffering from a deep cut. Not disinfected yet. Alright, well. Bandages, disinfect. Yeah. So, I don't know if anyone's heard of this before, but I think there's a secret boss fight. I don't know if it's just like um, a fake Easter egg or not, like if it's just a rumor. Titty fan, if you're still around, do you know what I'm talking about at all? I don't know if I ever saw this one before. Uh, there is the dream. There is the dream. That's right. Th that that's not available in the HD collection, unfortunately. You want to save? I might quickly look it up to see if I'm if this is the area where it's supposed to be. Paramedic, what was that movie you were talking about earlier? Which one? My mother, the teenage whatever. Oh, that. Sorry. The Major was talking to me at the time, and I wasn't really paying attention. Don't worry. I'll get it right next time. Alright, it's not really a boss fight, but it feels like it. After meeting up with Ava in the mountains, you start off on the edge of the cliff in the mountains looking at Groznegrad. If you get an SVD and snipe a guard, but don't kill him, you will instantly call on an alert and a helicopter will attack you. The first wave is easy, firing an RPG area, it uses a machine gun and it's fairly close. The next is harder, it's further away, and the fires rockets at you. I snipe the pilot. The next wave is both the helicopters. I'm on extreme and I can't get past this wave. I'm wondering if anyone has killed all helicopters, or if there's a wave, or if there's an infinite amount on them. It's an optional fight. Yeah, I, I've only read about this. I've never actually seen it, so let me give it a try, actually. We just saved it now, so... Let's see. Um... So I'll have to reload myself because we're going for a no kill. Kidok? Uh, where is the 
the person in the tower in question. Oh! Oh my god, there's a thing there! Huh! I didn't even think about looking up this particular area. That's wild. Okay, well, we need to do that as well. I don't see anyone to shoot. Yeah, that was very lucky. I'll definitely get that properly when we reload the save. But I don't see who am I supposed to shoot. I don't see anyone here that I can just like, you know, nibble on with a bullet. No one in there. Don't think there's anyone in there. Uh, let me try putting on some, like, therms. Maybe that'll help. Ah! There's a man. Okay. Whoa! Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my god! Throw rocket. Yeah, have it. I'm still learning new things about this game after all these years. I had no idea this was a thing. Is that it? I'm still on high alert. Oh, here we go. Wave two, I guess. Got him. Underneath the run drops a helicopter on a building. Yeah, we're gonna reload. Don't worry, Deacon. Don't worry. <laughs> no one was in the building. No one was in the helicopter. <laughs> you don't need to worry. <laughs> it's one of those self piloting ones from the 50s, you know. Got him. Show yourself. This is so cool. I wonder if this is ever mandatory at any time. Where are you going? for this. Where'd he go? The alert's still not going down. Ah, 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 ah. 
Shit. How many spiders can you give me right now? <laughs> what, what do you? Oh, spoilers! I thought. You said... <laughs> There's no spoilers. I mean, this is a completely optional weird Easter egg. You're good. By the time you get around to this, this won't even mean a thing. You're, you're, you're absolutely fine, Haley. Welcome in, by the way. I won't give you any spiders. There are helicopters and a frog. <laughs> Shit, I ran out of ammo. Um, 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 um. Are those auto aiming, seeking? No. Well, that's good. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? How you doing, by the way, Haley? Welcome in. How you doing? Deacon, I'm gonna need you to summarize all of Metal Gear at every time, at every turn. At the end of each game, I want you to tell me what you learned from each Metal Gear. Yo, this last helicopter's taking a beating. What's up with that? <laughs> uh, at the end of each game, how many have you played so far? Because I generally have no idea if we're on the second or fifth game. We're on the third game in terms of this year anyway. Come on, you tell me I didn't hit all those? Bullshish. Alright, I'm gonna give up soon and reload my save file. This thing is dragging on a bit too long. But this has been a fun little find. I can't believe this was this was a thing in the game. It's kinda wild. Uh, I just wanna try to see if I can kill this helicopter. I don't know why this one, for whatever reason, is way tankier than the other ones I thought. Well, that does not board well. Um, I guess the AK and this thing. Definitely hitting it. You can see the sparks coming off it. This, this tack part takes too long. All right, I'm going to call this particular encounter here. That was really interesting, though. I had no idea this existed. God, I love this game. Let's get the frog and head back out. Bump, 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 bump. Alright. Aha! I'm out of a box. Uh, we need to cure ourselves, I think. What's wrong with us? Uh, suffering from a deep cut, bleeding, no bandages applied, right? Uh, disinfect. We've already seen this. Yeah, done. Ellie, thank you so much for the three seam streak. Much appreciated. Box! The box is the best thing in the game. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Right. And we were lucky enough to find this fella. Got him. Alright. That's another one. First time using that gun, too. Yo, purr! Look at that! Is that a kitty with a box over it? Oh, man. Let's go and get those noodles now. Here we go. Um, I've not eaten this one yet. 
too bad. Not too bad. All right. Uh, is there one in here? I wonder. Oh, there's bloody spiders in here. Should we take a spider with us? Might come in handy. No, it's gonna kill people. What am I doing? We're doing a non-lethal play through. I don't know if it will kill them. Guaranteed. I think a scorpion maybe will. SVD Mosin. Ah, we should. We should. We should. We should. We should. That one we're full. Full. That one. Yeah. We take the spider. Oh, fine. I'll take the spider. All right. Well. We have the spider. There we go. Cobalt BL Tarantula. Captured alive, not yet eaten. Taste unknown. We can maybe call paramedic and get the lowdown on it. I see you've got yourself a ra Not ration. By the way, Snake. What? You know the Ocelot unit commander? Ocelot? Yeah, that's not his real name, is it? I wouldn't think so. Is it a code name? You mean like Snake? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Is that strange? No, I was just wondering why he's called Ocelot. Why is that? Well, I looked it up, and it turns out the Ocelot is a wild cat who's I don't remember this code I call. southern U.S. down to northern Argentina. They live in a variety of different environments from tropical rainforests to savannas. The biggest ones can grow up to one meter in length. They're normally solitary creatures, and their diet consists mainly of small animals and fish. During the day, they sleep up in the trees, but at night... Yeah, uh, paramedic. <laughs> oh, right. So, the ocelot is an animal that lives on the American continent. But then I wondered, why would a Soviet officer be using the name of an American wildcat? Good question. Maybe it's because he's fast and agile like an ocelot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm. But why'd you go to all the trouble of looking it up? Because I was curious. Was it helpful? Uh, sure. <laughs> that was a weird codec call. What the fuck? <laughs> now equip the spider. For you, Jody, I'll put it on. If I kill someone accidentally, I'll reload. I'll, I'll show you how it works. Uh, why do you shoot the spider? There's not going to be anything left. Yeah, so I shoot it with a trank gun, and that converts it into a little cage where it's trapped. If I shot it with another gun, it would have just emerged as an edible dead creature. Is Snake's real name John? This... Snake is John. She suspected him uh, of being CIA all along. I think so. The horse the boss was riding sounds like an Andalusian. Ooh. Andalusians are from the region of Andalusia in Spain. They're renowned for their beauty, their gentle nature, and their physical prowess. Hmm. Just so you know, you can't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, but you were going to. I was. Yes. Don't even think about eating a horse. Got it? Guess I'll have to mark it off the list. What did you say? I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this snake? That's right, Deacon. This is Metal Gear Solid 3. This is not the same snake I was playing as in Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Looks like you're in a building. If people are Yeah, food. I got that. Anything else? To eat food. Yep. When you get sh Yep. You can capture Yep. Snake, whatever happens to you, make sure you leave a descendant, okay? Wait, what? Are you saying you want to have my baby? <laughs> no. I'm saying that in the 21st century, the genes... Are you saying you want to have my baby? <laughs> genes. Uh-huh. Remember when Watson and Crick discovered the double helix structure of oh, DNA back in 1953? Ah, uh, no. You know, they won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for it the year before last. Of course, you have to feel sorry for Pauling and Franklin. They were researching the exact same thing. Sorry, I don't follow. Inside every living creature are little blueprints called genes. Through the union of the sperm and egg cells, these blueprints are transformed and inherited by the next generation. That's why parents and children resemble each other. The concept of genes was first proposed over a hundred years ago by Mendel, but he didn't know what they were exactly. For a while, it was thought that chromosomes were composed not of deoxyribonucleic acid, but of proteins called polypeptides. 
Later, it was shown that deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, was a biological macromolecule. That's what DNA stands and 11 for? 11 years ago, Watson and Crick discovered that DNA had a double helix structure. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff, but what exactly does it have to do with me? The inherent characteristics of any given individual are determined by his or her genes. By duplicating a set of superior genes, a separate body with the same set of characteristics, a clone can be created. A clone? But genes don't control a person's fate. That's true. But having an offspring that's genetically identical to the parent is more efficient, right? You can expect better results that way. More efficient? You can't mass produce human beings. Maybe. But now that we know the true nature of genes, human cloning is that much closer to reality. Nuclear transplanting is already theoretically possible. So one day... My genes are going to be a valuable commodity. Exactly. They'd never let that happen. Just think, even if your body dies, you survive and go on to bigger and better accomplishments. If you think about it, it's kind of an honor. Does that kind of technology seriously appeal to this you? This is really interesting. Well, I am a doctor. I can't condone it on moral grounds, but I'm fascinated by the Okay, so she did mention morally. Especially when I see such an excellent specimen as yourself. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Don't be so glum. It's not like it's going to happen anytime soon. We'll just have to wait and see. That's kind of wild. Burns happen when you're engulfed in flame. Yep. The gauge She doesn't want to talk about my spider. You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described. A miniature transmitter God, that's small enough to put in a shoe. They have a codec call for like every single thing that happens in this game. Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on me. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Love this game. There's just so much detail. Yeah, knowing where paramedic heads on to like future entries and stuff, or you know, past entries, depending on which way you're looking at it, it does make me wonder. You know, that's one of the very few codec calls where I can kind of see the through line. Also, is there meant to be? Because this is a loading. Oh, there it is. I was just about to say, is there a frog in here? Found it. <laughs> Oh, all right, what's the next frog? I'm going to check ahead because I've been really lucky finding these. And how BB doesn't like the idea of cloning. Yep. Uh, I remember brown game showing up yesterday. Brown game? Oh, where am I looking? Where's my browser? All right. So we got this one. This is the last one I was looking at. Yeah, okay. I didn't actually see this. So this is 39 underscore 2. We just got 40 as well. So we've got 39, 40. Um, so now we've got to head into the tunnel. No, we've got that one. 41. Underground tunnel. Yo, is this during the boss fight? Oh my god, I think this is during the boss fight. That's insane. This is a point of no return. Once you reach the cutscene with the Fury, you won't be able to get any of the previous keratins. And once you beat the Fury, you won't be able to get the keratin in this area. Make sure you get that keratin. Damn. During the fight with the Fury, run to the north, the northern side of the map and you should find a frog out on top of the pipes. Oh, I see. Yeah. I always found this fight to be pretty rough at times. Like, I think it's a pretty tough fight first time around. Let's see how it goes. Uh, brown GSM, GSM, what game? I could point out the color of MGS3 from a mile away without ever playing game. Yeah, brown gasm, huh? I was replying to Haley. I do not condone brown gasming. Yep, that me too. <laughs> Cause they take everything from us, Wills. They're gonna take orgasms as well. Bloody brown people. Where are we going? Mm -hmm. 
This is a very brown game and a very green game. The filters are pretty strong. Uh, that's one of the reasons why... One of the reasons of many that I'm excited... Oh god, it's a dude with a flamethrower! I'm very excited about the um, Delta remake. Because it acknowledges that. I forgot about this unit completely. I don't know if they're, they're present in other parts of the game. Okay, there might be a block down here. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is. Gotta get rid of that guy first. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope to the poop chasm. Can't quite see him from here. But he's coming. Okay, there's another guy up there. Gotta be careful. Alright, we're in. Ooh, okay. Nothing here. So I guess this, this whole area counts as one area. Um, I gotta get rid of this for this fight. Hmm... I think I am ready, actually. Stun grenade. I don't need books, I guess. That's not making me any heavier. There we go. Camouflage, I don't think will help me out super. I don't even know what camouflage would be good against the walls in here. Maybe splitter. We did recently pick up the splitter, right? Yeah, 55. Holy cow. Yeah, lots of guns that we're not going to use. Uh, we don't need this to be silenced. <laughs> Honestly, oftentimes I do, Hurley. I just go by what feels good. I went with chocolate chip earlier, even though the desert one was technically better. Alright, I'm going to stick down a save here, because things are about to get real. Saving the game, Snake? Also, I noticed another detail, and um, I'd, I'd, I'd forgotten about this. Snake, have you ever seen North I'll, I'll let Paramedic first recommend this movie. Is that one? It's about this ordinary guy who runs an ad agency. He's mistaken for someone else and gets kidnapped. I haven't had mint chocolate chip in a job. long time. As a result, he gets tangled up in a conspiracy. And pretty soon he's traveling to New York, Chicago, and even Mount Rushmore in pursuit of the real culprit. Hitchcock's films always keep you on the edge of your seat. But sometimes they can be funny when you least expect it. That's why I love them. Have you seen all of his films? All of them? Ugh, not even close. He's been making movies since before I was born. I guess I might have seen some of them on TV. But the first movie I ever saw in the theater was a Hitchcock film. We all went and saw it as a family. It was Rebecca. This was when you were a kid. Yeah, my parents love watching movies, so they took me along. I didn't quite understand the plot, but for some reason I thought it was really scary. Actually, I remember the candy bar they bought me on the way home better than the movie itself. That's when you fell in love with movies. You could say that. It was like an irresistible force at that point. I was completely swept away. I noticed that when I'm core decking people, um, you get like four little pictures in the bo top left, right? I think I've unlocked a fifth picture from using the core deck frequently. And the fifth one, um, just give you an example here. Do you want to save? Uh, you press this button, the D-pad, or the, the stick. So the, here we go. So this is the one that you usually have, which is personal data, right? You get the code name, uh, age, nationality, birthplace, etc, etc, where they're from. And then now you get a personal data too, which includes the height, weight, hair, eye, skin, voice, and motion capture actor. Which is really interesting. Uh, I'd completely forgot about that because whenever I come back to play this game, I don't core deck very often. I'm just going through the game for the main story, but I've been core decking a lot more and taking my time with the game to play through. So that's another detail I completely forgot about. Chin up. I'll be in touch. All 
All right. Let's see how badly this goes. Yo, welcome in, Vamp. Yeah, this one's a doozy, isn't it? Bats. I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury. Space, space. Th this guy is interesting. Terrible fury at being alive. Don't know a lot about him, to be honest. Now you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Also, his design was cool, though. Burn! He made the game run like absolute hot garbage. Oh, oh God. Right, well, off to a solid start. Hang on, which gun is this? Wrong gun. Shit, you can hear me. I haven't done this in so long. Oh fuck, I didn't know he was in front of me. I thought I was going a different way. That's on me. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad start. This is a very bad start. Gotta kick him. My suit! Uh, if I die, I'm gonna die, by the way, and I'll just restart again. I need to look out for the frog. Anyone seen the frog? I see the frog. Got him. There he is. Shit. Come on, I shot him in the face. I'm gonna die here. Okay, we'll try this again. <clears throat> We'll try this again. Space like with Markiplier? Oh <laughs> no, it's Solid Snake, not Solid Start. Nice, thanks Deacon. Burn! Wrong gun! Okay, well that was a really good run. Snake. Burn! Burn! I think the new camera angles will be will be a nice quality of life thing that they do. Ah! 
Got the RNG on which side he pops in from is so annoying. Yes, I know it's fire, it sucks. You get over it, man. Oops. Wrong button. I was trying to figure that button out. Where'd you go? Come on, show your pretty face. A couple of shots off and then I'm gonna run. Uh oh. Oh no, he's still there, he's still there. He must be getting close. You you can lay like claymores and TNTs and stuff like that. And there's a lot of ways to go about this, but with the non-kill run, there's there's less ways to go about this. He should have popped up by now. What's he doing? There he is. I shoot. No, I think that's enough. I don't think I can do what I'm trying to do there. You get like three shots and that's it. Unless it's with the other sniper rifle. I think you can get a few more, but it's risky. A lot of this is just trying to remember how this fucking fight works. Whoa! I think the cardboard box helps uh, nullify the fire if you if you're burning. Could be talking bollocks. But I feel like it does. Wagga wagga, wagga wagga. Oh Christ! Wait, is he not down there? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Whoa! Oh, okay. That's great, man. That's great. Uh, did you watch much Simpsons? I did, at one point. But I feel like there's been... There might be more Simpsons now than... How much I've consumed, if that makes any sense. Ah, that was silly of me. I shouldn't have tried that. Have you considered using your cooling spray on the fire? <laughs> Deacon, if only I had one in this game, mate. The tech wasn't made yet. Everything in this game is made from currently existing technology. Uh, should I be worried? Fire. Yeah, I probably should. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Shit, 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 shit. I should use a life, man. I just feel like I'm still learning how this fight goes. Obviously, I'm sucking at it right now. Oh, God! Okay, let's try that again. Let's get the shit out of me. Holy shit. Ba, 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 da, da. Right, let's do that. Switch to the right gun. Uh, ooh, hang on, my TV's about to turn itself off. Yeah, that was really good fucking timing. Right, I'm not even gonna risk this, I'm going this way.
Let's do it nice and slow, shall we? Ah, coldest! I heard this button will give me really awesome emotes. <laughs> Thank you so much to the resub, coldest. It means a lot to me, dude. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. How you doing, by the way? Welcome in, man. Wonderful to see you. Uh, run. Yeah, like... <laughs> Obviously, Cultus is here for the, um, for the Will's pointing emo. I don't know why the TTS didn't activate- Oh god, it's a man! On the sub, there should be a TTS attached to that. <laughs> oh. Words? Man, scary, he is very, very scary. Yeah, this is not um, most people's favorite boss fight. He can be a pain in the ass. I think with this fight, more than most fights in Metal Gear in general, I think this one can go wrong really quickly. I think that's why it can be frustrating. Because it's, it's, it's taking him down, like he does take damage. Um, like any other boss, I feel. Like he's not... He doesn't outstay his welcome in that way, but I do feel like when he hits you, he fucking hits you. Oh. Anyway, I was wondering if you could vocalize the entire opening theme starting from the heavily ah and ending with the TV. Just do your best. Wait, you're talking about the Simpsons opening? Um, from like memory? Because I haven't seen it in a long time. I might be butchering it. It's like fighting Raven, but without bird's eye view, even in default view. Yeah, I suppose. All right, let me give it a go. Uh, th I might be, this might be terrible. Hang on. I think it would be funnier if I wasn't looking it up. So I'll just do it right now and see how much I remember. All right. <clears throat> uh... The Simpsons. Plopping. Suckle, suckle. Beep, 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 beep. I did it. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? I was doing the Simpsons opening. Thank you. Thank you. Was that I feel like I feel like I sped mine up a little bit, but I feel like I feel like that was most of it, right? Did the metal pipe happen? It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that was one of the one of the the best ones I've ever done in my life. I'm gonna say. I'm surprised. Me too. I didn't know I had that in me. Honestly, thank you so much for the redeem, man. I feel like I'm actually totally there. Where you are? Where you actually? Oh, you feel like you're actually there? <laughs> did someone be like, "Yo, did someone put the Simpson on in the house"? <laughs> Oh, I meant to redeem this. You did, didn't you? Oh, no, wait, that's the other one. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Why did that one not work? What's going on with my redeems today? I don't feel like that worked. Hang on. You're pretty good. Oh, huh, weird. Anyway. Oh, Ooh, uh, Spec is in a call right now, but I will go post this, invade the room that she's in, and hug her, because I'm going to need one after this boss fight. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ha 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 ha. Oh god! I think he's trying to kill me. Where'd he go? Die! 
shit. I was trying to be cocky. Didn't work out. You he already lost me? Huh? Snake! Snake! Yeah. It's gonna come through here. I know it. <laughs> no, come on! Shit. I think I'm gonna die. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god. Boss. <laughs> Thank you for derailing the game for my amusement. Anytime, Jordy. I'm gonna go quickly grab a spec and hug her very quickly. Enjoy this. I'm off. To join the shop. Behold, the flames of fury. The fires of hell will purge you. Mission control. Do you read me? <laughs> I'm glad that you're a fellow pilker, though I might question uh, your ingredients at some point, Deacon. I'm coming home. Also, um, Tidifan, do you know where I pick up his his drop? Because we're not going to be in the same room as him now, right? Oh, okay, okay, thank you. I always thought this was such a goofy end to this fight. We should probably sort that out, I guess. I wanted to see if I could do it without healing and stuff, so I'm, I'm glad we did it. That was fun. Um, and let me pause this. Burns, no bandage applying, no ointment. All right. There's your ointment. There's your splint. There's your bandage. I don't know what you're thinking. What was the splint for? I'm just, I'm just a nice guy. I was just giving splints to people. Uh, let's go with this. Have I tried this? Said to be edible. He's had enough. Alright. Hey, we got the uniform fire. Alright. There must be one in this area, I guess. Wonderful. A lot of good stuff we got there. Uh, where would they hide one in this area, I wonder? Yeah, I don't want to accidentally miss it, so I'm going to look it up. I assumed it was, like, on one of these or something, you know? Is that a flat texture? It is, isn't it? Like, baked in lighting. It's kind of fun. And gross, I guess. Oh my god, this is acceptable. Can you get hit by lightning in these games? Good question. Uh, technically, yes, you can. Technically, you can get... I will get hit. By lightning at some point. And you'd be bitten by a cobra at the same time. Ooh. Hmm. I, mm, I don't know. You can definitely have them back to back. That that would be uh, manageable. Um, it'd be funny if any anytime you fell from a great height, the snake eater plays backwards. That would be very funny. If they did that in select areas, like maybe the, the one that you climb up first and it was sped up, that would be very funny. Hang on, give me a second.
Okay, so we got this one. But there's not another one. Oh, I guess this all counts as one place. So I thought there might be one in this tunnel because technically a loading screen happened because we had the finished boss fight. But there's nothing here because it still counts as being in the same area as this. The next one is in Groznygrad. Um, we come out from... Oh god, where do we come out from? Uh, this is 42. So I guess we come out like down here, I think. So one is over by here, which is good job that I looked this up, right? Because I actually never go on this side of the map. Because your objective is to go into the building up here. I generally just like, because you start from here, I just go straight up from here. Um, this one, I, I think I remember. And then there's a building right here. So I'm going to come out from here, go to this side, which I don't usually do. And then go up to this point. This part of the game, I think I've said this a few times, but I'm going to say it again. I'm not very good at this part of the game. I feel like I get seen all the fucking time here. Like I never look out properly. And the guards, it's such an open area with like no jungle. No Kung Fury here. I thought uh, I was onto something. You never know, Per, with these games. You never know. Out of the frying pan and into the freezer. Was that the RE2 opening noise? They probably all sound kind of similar. Who knows if they got it from like the same, you know, sound bank. Wow. You can tell we're doing a non-lethal playthrough because all of that stuff I already had. Um. Nothing here. Apparently split is the best thing we can use now, except for spider. Hmm. The spider has special properties, that's why it's better. In terms of backpacking, what do we need to do here? I would like to use the cigarette spray again at some point soon. Uh, that's fine, stun is fine. Smoke might come in handy. Maybe a magazine? No, not that kind of magazine. Book, there we go. That's fine. This side, I got thermals. I'm gonna try to use thermals to, to find out where the enemies are. My health should start naturally going up as long as I have some stamina there. Yeah, already there's some guy there, yeah. Just seeing things. There's a lot of items underneath those things as well. Uh, so I wanna go down that direction. Which again, is not a direction I usually go in, I just usually go that way. Apparently, when you're going up the stairs, he will not crouch when in a box. I didn't know this. So now I'm in this really awkward position. Where you go from me, buddy? Who answer me. This area is huge. I know, that's what I said. Who uh, and me? let go of me. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Wait, this Freeze. is this is oh, it did work. No wait. What gun is this? Oh god, I almost killed this man. Wow. You know, I don't usually hold people up in this game because they don't drop tog tags, but my goodness, that animation. Uh. Whoa, dude had bug juice. How much do you uh. have on you? 
Whoa, he's still going. In Tasman? You, that's got to be it, right? Yeah. Wow. Wait. The fuck? Did I miss? What the fuck is going on? Uh, I think this whole fa facility was one of my favorite game areas back in the day. I like this place too. Throw it back, white boy. Wait, what? This would totally fit Duke Nukem. Shake it, baby. Oh. Drug resistance train. I shot that man square in the fucking nostril. He should have been out. Weird. Maybe it was a blank on my part. And what do we got here? I don't think I need any of these, to be honest, but I can't help myself, you know? Yeah, I don't think I need any of these. Um, the only thing that would be useful right now is, like, more silencer. I guess. Alright, so the first frog I'm looking for is to the left of here. Yeah, he's, like, over there somewhere. Let me double-check this. Uh, by the middle crate. If I'm reading this correctly. Uh, again, I don't usually go in that direction. Let's just see what happens. There is a bloke dead ahead of me. Uh, maybe we can use a, a titty fan special. Take him out. Have a look. Nope, he's just out of range. Hang on. There we go. There's head. Wait, he's moving. Okay. Here we go. Gun. There's another man over there. Gun is up. Shit, there's two of them. <sighs> Fuck a duck. Okay, we'll check out this guy first. Okay, this is it. Hold R1 square. Three, two, one. Got him. Take out the next guy. Three, two, one. Got him. I'm gonna dub this the titty fan. I titty fan them both. Where is this frog? It'll be up there. Oh. <laughs> I found him. That's cute. I don't remember this one at all. I definitely would have missed this one if I wasn't looking these up. That's so cute. Alright, let me check where the next one is. Oh, I should save as well, actually. You want to save? Hold on a sec. Waga waga. Waga waga. 360 no scope. I put my scope away if that counts. No, I haven't. A meteorite falls in a small town. And inside there's this kind of living ooze. The ooze starts swallowing people and grows to an enormous size. After it eats a bunch of the townspeople, it starts to fill up a movie theater. Then these young people try to save the town from its gruesome fate. It's pretty frightening to see something that's not even supposed to be alive suddenly start moving around and eating people. Not something you see every day. Pass the car that you can use a cardboard walk here to travel. Climb on the stack of crates nearby and then look over the fence. Alright. One's going to be a bit tricky, I think. Oh, SMSP. Great. See anything over there? Be careful. I really feel like I'm going to run into someone. I'm not careful. Okay, here we go. Okay. Go 
gotta be really careful around here. This is where like things go wrong for me, generally speaking. I know there's a block around this corner. No messing around, let's put them down. Yeah, there's a bunch of people here too. And there's searchlights as well. Wondering if he's going to attract any attention. Guy straight ahead of me. That guy I'm going to leave. I think, okay, that searchlight might be an issue. Is there a man controlling that searchlight? No, there isn't. I'm wondering uh, how much of a commotion it would be to take out the searchlight. Interesting. I didn't know this was a guy here. Speak. Using the ducks. You can move safely. Oh. I can't quite I can't quite get to his head from here. That'll have to do. Hurt me more. <laughs> Definitely gotta go that way. Means that guy's gonna move. Can't quite see him through all of this mess. Got him. Right, the soldiers. Um. Another light up there as well, isn't there? Don't want to waste more ammo on these guys. But I don't want to waste more silencer. Though I have like three clips of the silencer thing, so I think I should be fine. I think this area, more than other areas, would have been really difficult without the third-person camera angle. Which, if you haven't played through these games, by the way, um, this version of the game is called Subsistence which is like the expanded version, which came out like six months to a year after the original release. But the original release had only fixed camera angles. When you click in the right stick, you return to the fixed camera angle. So this is what you would have saw in the original version of the game. You can manipulate it to an extent, but most of the time you're going into first person like this to look around, as opposed to like this, right? It was such a game changer where they introduced the third person camera angle. And it worked so incredibly well. I remember playing a mod for the MGS2 version on PC with third-person camera angle, and that also worked really, really well. Okay, well, you know what, Deacon? Uh, hold up your hand. Take this controller. Thank you. Don't drop it. It's expensive. I'll go and hug her, okay? Uh, Deacon, it's your show now. Be right back. Be nice to Deacon. All right. <clears throat> okay, everyone, let's pick a game. What do you mean, pick a game? It's Mel Gear Mondays, Deacon. <laughs> Deacon MGS stream. Metal Gear Deacon. Put up Wedding Witch, oh, for God's sakes. Quick, Deacon, get caught. <laughs> uh, you know, Deacon, honestly, you swear to God, if you're pulling up Wedding Witch right now, mate, you can start streaming. I'll raid you right now. Get the show on the road, baby.
Wedding Witch Wednesdays, maybe. I like it. Oh, did they already disappear? All right, well. Where this guy? This is bad. This is bad, right? Um. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. He's not gonna. I'm just gonna. Calorie mid is better. Got so many of these. Um, there's a terrible test of gray. Uh, fuck, I might as well just eat um, this, I guess. So much calorie mid. Hey, this works. Hey, this works. Uh, congrats, Per. How uh, how do you dodge? I found out that each time um, I died, another. Six dodges were added to the counter, so I just kept killing myself. Good lord. Death is always the answer, especially in Booba Witch game. So true. So deep. Hey, Naga, do you want to sleep? Oh, he's going to mummy. Oh. He went all the way over to Spec's desk. She's at her computer, and he head bumped her. Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you coming to give me some attention? Oh, now he's head bumping me. Oh, who's your cool kitty, huh? Who's gonna get lots of treats? Hmm? Okay, now he's kneading on me. Oh, oh, Speck is on the move. That means Kitty's on the move. Oh, but up. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess I'll go through here. No. Where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I? Hang on. No, this isn't right. It's, it's, de it's, it's, hang on. It's to the left of here. Like, wait, huh? Inaga. Like, I'm so confused right now. Wait, wait. This is why I need these guys to be out. This guy is still here shaking his booty. Here? This doesn't make any sense. It should be right here. Unless... Oh, wait. Hang on. Unless I'm looking at the wrong one. No. Is it labeled correctly? This seems to be high up, but the map is showing me low down. So confused. This looks nothing like what they're showing me in the thing. I think they made a mistake. I think this one's underground. I think there is a mistake in my guide. One way to find out. This goes left. Yeah. Hi, Naga. The buddy. Has everyone seen the uh, Morning Naga video? DD, welcome in. How you doing, DD? Good to see you, DD. Okay, I could be wrong, actually. I'm going to get to the end. Of I don't see anything from here. Eat it? What? Well, we eat what? For sustenance? I have. I've, I've already eaten the rat. 
I'm only picking up stuff I have not eaten at this point. This is slow, isn't it? When I could just jump in here and make more speed. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Wagga wagga, baby. Wagga wagga. Okay, so the guide I'm using has got these two pitches mixed up, I think. So that was 43. Where's 44? 44, 44. Nope, I'm going the wrong way now, I think. This is back the way I came, I believe. Oh, no, not necessarily. No, no. It's definitely Sarahly. I'm gonna I'm gonna look around. Um ba ba um, ba um, ba ba forty five. I don't see forty five on this map. The maps that it's showing me are very confusing to what I see. I think I might get stuck here a little bit. As long as I just keep getting one in every single zone, we should be good. Um, and I think I've already been in this zone. Oh god, there's a man! What's that, I wonder? Answer me! There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Do you? Bastard! Okay, well. Oh, it's another box. What do you say? Uh, nothing I can think of right now. This is a different area. Okay. Oh, this place is really big. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the guide I'm using is throwing me off a little bit. Thankfully, the pictures on the guide, for the numbers of them, I think still work out. So as long as I go by the numbers, we should be okay. But I would have missed this if I was following the, the guide to a T. Uh, I meant to come home and look at hardware. I came home and looked at this. <laughs> I can be your hardware, DD. I forgot how much more forgiving um, sound is in this game. You can just run up to them. Oh, yeah, 100% cultist. There's a lot of funky stuff you can do in this with the CQC stuff. Um, and the hitbox and, like, grab range and stuff is pretty generous. <clears throat> so, uh, where I got confused. We got this one when we came out. This one was fine. That was 42. 43 is where I got confused. That was the one I got underground. But if you look at the picture of the show here for number 43, here, 43, it's on top of the stairs. That's incorrect. Um, and then this map, I don't know what this map is trying to show me at all. So I don't know where's the one I just got, to be honest with you. 44, that's this one, which we did get previously. Um, and then I moved down to this area, which is blocked off here. Yeah, southeast, so we got this one, 45. Which is not this area either, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure when to get the other ones now. It's throwing me off completely. I guess my concern, I've got those two. Um, provision storehouse, maybe we're here now. Oh, I think this is where we are. So we just came out of here. Maybe? No, otherwise it would have said the rooftop one. I don't actually know where that one is anymore. Hmm. Yeah, the, this guide is not helping. I'm gonna just keep going and just try to check all the areas at least. The guide's been good until now. As long as we get one for every area that we've been in, right? So we've been in that area. You can see me from there? Where to what? We've been in that area. We've been in that area beforehand. 
This area should lead to the previous area, so there should be no link, I think. So I think I can leave this area now and be fine with it. There's a block down there. Yeah, there's another way through there, that grate. Or at least visually there's a grate there. Even if it's not one that you can go through. So I think I can head back. To the northeast, yeah. Uh, and as you know, we have the one in here. I'm going to check next to that guy if there's any other way to go. Before I go into the building. Once I go into the bu Shit, I just shot that man. Fuck. Okay, I didn't kill him, thank God. God damn it, man. I almost killed this dude. Good job I missed him and I shot him in his ear or some shit. I would have been run over. Don't wake him up. There's a man there. I never killed anyone. I'm just like Batman for real. I don't think you can go this way. Yeah, I think this is the edge. Making sure that I can't actually go this way. Yeah, okay. I guess my only concern now is how do I get the, um, the one in the picture? Can I jump into here or what the? I don't think so, right? No, okay. <clears throat> I could start heading inside, I guess. I don't think I'm locked off to this area if I don't get the one in the thing. There's a man there. Some might say two men. I think there might be a room on the other side of this. Connected to the left here. I could be talking absolute fucking bollocks though. My concern is this one. Hang on. Number 43. Because this is not 43. It's a lie. 43 was the one in the aqueduct, right? Like, well, aqueduct. It was in the little sewage thing we were in. So I don't know where this one is. Um, I think we were just there. There's the two vehicles, I think, right? There's the duct. I'm not sure, actually. Hang on. No. Ah, wait, what? We were here. How does this one look the same as this one? Yeah, there's an area here. And there's one here, but that's number 50. We jump from 40 thingy to 50, which I think is because you can't access this area yet. Got that one. The next one is inside the building from here. I'm not gonna- I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna try to get over to this side to see if this one's accessible. See if that's the one that's got mixed up. Oh fuck, this is behind a waterfall? 50? No wait, what? I'm so confused now. This seems like such a weird mistake. Clearly this says 50. Oh, for the love of God. You can't find the guides. Uh, a decorative bullet wound. There we go. Welcome, Encrypted. How are you doing, man? Uh, is there a secret ending for not killing? You unlock different things. Um, so I'm going for the non-kill thing because you unlock special camos and items from the bosses. Yeah, I think the rank too, but I'm dying and restarting so often my rank's going to be terrible. Hug quarter filled? Did we hug spec eight times? Good lord in heaven! I think it's the first time we've hit it. You can't kill but no one said anything about maiming. Yeah, there we go. Like Sonic S right? Spec wants another hug. I'll find... Come here. Come here, I'll give you another more freebie. This is illegal, by the way, just so you know. There we go. Free hug. What's sex. Starred ones? Okay. That's the clove bank. You can only use that during zombie streams. They're not valid during my streams. 
All right, I'm going to try making a, a, a run over there to see if we can do those. Those men are totally going to see me. Uh, just so you know, spec is in my way. There we go. You totally can go in here. I think that's the one. Yeah, it's on the it's on the stairs. I figured it out. I figured out what the mistake is. Um, yeah, I just got to get over there now. I never come here during this part of the game. <laughs> Wait, where does this link to? Oh, okay. Well, that's cute. Man down there. Does it? Wait, who's that? Is that Doggo? I think that's Dog. Yeah, that's a hundred percent a dog. Dog sleep. Man, come to check on dog. I put man to sleep too. Another man find man and dog sleeping together. That man does not wake him up. He's like, let him sleep. Kick the dog and I kick you. Sorted. <laughs> man, man become dog. Dog is now man. Om yum 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 yum. Yeah, I know there's a guy over there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm taking this guy out. Yeah. I see it. That's the one. Got it. Can I get in the building that way, I wonder? I probably should go the other way, though, because I need to go to every single room, right? Another dog sleeping. Do not disturb the dog. Door does not open. Must find other door. Light. Light dangerous. We'll stop light being light. Run. You see nothing. What's this box? <laughs> what is this box doing? The box is just vibing, baby. Alright, now now I enter main building. Uh but we kill we no kill. What's wrong? Come with me. I thought I had it. I thought smoke and box would be perfect. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that who I think it is? No, it's not. We did pass a, uh, a loading screen, though, so I can die and it still counts my, um, what should we call it? My, uh, frogs. So I'm just gonna die in here. Actually, while we're here, we might as well look for, uh, Rydonovich. Should be around here somewhere. Uh, 
none of these guys. Where is he? Where is he? Hmm. But yeah, you can shoot them like this, hang on, like that, and then roll into them. And that'll like insta-sleep them, like that, which is kind of neat. Oh, there's the frog. That's good to know. It's hard to confirm sometimes hitting them like this. Because it helps with having the gun up. Yeah, you can feel like it lock onto them when you're running around. It's kind of fun. Here. Wait, is he in here? Whoa, there he is! Oh my god, he just did the ride, the, the, the ride and fucking twirl. Did you see that? I had no idea he could do that. Yo, that's sick. Do it again. Oh my god, he does the kick too. Holy shit, I had no idea he could do that. Water? Oh, okay. Has trouble with mush what was that about mushrooms? Wait, I need I need to know. Oops, sorry. Hang on. Let me do that. I'm almost dead. There we go. Yeah. You, I need information from you. Ghetto. Get up. God, he's a heavy sleeper. Okay. Okay. Speak. Tell me stuff. Answer me. April 30th. April 30th? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Speak. We'll tell them everything. Together. Speak. Today is the day I met you. Oh my god. Answer me. No. Never never heard the name before. Speak. Is it the same voice actor? Speak. Water. The colonel is weak against water. Okay, he's looping. Speak. The colonel. He has trouble. Bright With bright mushrooms, uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, good to know. Why right, he doesn't really care for me having the gun out on him? All right, I need to kill me, mate. I, it's so fucking cool. He has the double kick as well. He's got exactly the same animations. Come on. A little bit more, a little bit more, come on. <laughs> Throw your battery charging mushrooms at him. That is the thing to do against Vulcan. That's what he was alluding to. I can't believe there were so many tidbits to do with Raiden in him. Like, his animation for attacking, um, the double kick that he does, the flip and everything, that's the same animation as Raiden from MGS2. The April 30th and the whole day I met you kind of thing is alluding to Rosemary in number two and the day that they met when she keeps saying, Hey, Jack, you know what tomorrow is? Hi, Naga. What are you up to, buddy? All right, now that we're in here, let me stick one of these things on. Uh, we need to go and get an outfit. Where do we get the outfit from? I guess we've got to take it off him first, I guess. Huh. So, can we be a scientist until then? I don't actually know if that works. We'll be talking bollocks here.
Yeah, you gotta get them to the locker room, I know. But I thought there was a way to have both. The face and that, I'm not sure. Thought he could react to his own face is what I'm thinking. What happens when he sees me like this? Who's that? Guess that didn't work. Okay. Mm. Help me? Huh? Uh, so if I take this off... Let me just quickly kill myself. Uh, he can if you dress as a scientist with his face he catches you. Yeah, but I thought something fun might play out if he does. Did they still catch you as a scientist in this room without that face? Hang on. Because this is your disguise for the earlier area, but maybe not this area. I'm just going to quickly check. Excuse me, sir. Can you look at me? Hello? Ah, okay. So you can be a scientist here at least, okay. Just without the face, right? Can't fool a scientist. He admires you for a second before noticing. Yes, that's what I remember vaguely. If you find ourselves in the situation, I'll roll with it. Yo, we should eat something. Nope, not that one. Food. Uh, we've got a lot of this stuff, haven't we? I want some more. Honestly, I would f I would kill for ramen right about now. I'm so hungry. I've only had breakfast. <laughs> Gimme book. Oh, this is a really cool room of assets. Convincingly looks random. Good shit. Else over here. Uh, this must be the other side of the toilets. Yep. Frog. We'll get him in a bit. Get the locker ready. Oh, I guess I can't open it until the cutscene. All these closed? There we go. Huh. Not that one, eh? Sorry, people. We have a lot of lockers to get through here. I don't think I'm OCD, but I do have OCD tendencies. Hey, Cooper, welcome in. Oh, thank you. You're a cool bandana. Ugh, rations. Okay, here we go. Last line. Monster who put nothing in these ones. Alright. You mean ba bum? Oh, it's this one. What do you mean ba bum? Alright, we're gonna go and find Rydonovich. Where is he? 
and get him up here. I thought there was like a fun way of getting him up here, but I don't remember now. Oh, there he is! There he is! There he is! He's coming! No, you're $300! <laughs> not claustrophobic? No, I hope not. Whee! Have a good one, Teddy fan. Thank you so much for joining us, dude. I appreciate you. Here he comes. Get some, some, get some of that good rest. Thank you for your great additions to the stream, man. I really appreciate it. The the knowledge of Metal Gear Solid is about to drop tremendously in your absence. Oh, hang on. Kitty is... Oh, it's okay. Oh, Kitty farted. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, he's just... Wait. Shit. Okay, that was my cat typing that. I hope he didn't do anything else. Wait, he also typed this as well. I don't know what this is. I'm sending this as well. Oh god. Naga, you can't jump on the laptop, buddy. How many times have I got to tell you this? Literally, whole room. Anywhere else you can go, buddy. I won't bat an eye. But the laptop... Oh, he's just knocked... He's knocked over the drink. He's knocked over the drink. There was nothing in the drink. Don't worry. It was empty. But he still knocked it over. Look, Naga. Look what you've done. Now everyone is saying the same thing. You okay, buddy? Uh, Naga is... Const okay, he's... He's... He's biting my hand. <laughs> Naga. Look, Mummy's just gone to the store. She'll be back soon. Okay, I'm going to try opening the balcony door for him, see if he wants to just chill out outside. Give me a second. Come on then, Naga. Let me take you outside. Oh. Oh! Oh, no, Hilly. Oh, that's bad. I'm going to take the key, Hilly. Um, I'm so sorry, Hilly. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, Hilly. Um, <laughs> right, that might buy me a little bit of time. I've just opened up the balcony door for him so he can go in and out. Ugh. But sometimes he likes vibing out there next to the plant. This is better. Not that as is bad, but Naga. Give Naga more screen time. I should. I've heard that if you get slash make a mini laptop for cats, they'll leave you alone because they apparently want to imitate you. That's hilarious. Protocol ZX1. <laughs> Initiate. Did you send out the call then, Cooper? Are you activated? <laughs> I've seen those things, um, uh, Toffee, that people have made on like Etsy and otherwise of like a fake laptop out of cardboard and shit. Or kitties. It is really cute. Oh, that's right. I need to get rid of this camouflage. Um. I mean, what does it matter? We're about to get. Oh, he's back. That that didn't take apparently. Whoops. Uh, I didn't expect to be seen like that. That's weird. Okay. Well, you know, this is a bit awkward. Um, oh, wow, this went really badly, didn't it? Wow, well. Let's try that again. Can't believe the opening door. And they knifed me? God. Oh the oh the breaking it. Well, you know. Someone's broken it. Did they kill him? Guys, don't kill him. I need him. All right, you kill me. No! 
No, I refuse. Oh, it was going to look really dramatic. I was going to, like, pop out the window. Oh, that's a really strong window. Wow. Um, can you not break this window? Yes, you can. Are uh, you ever imagine a guy wearing a mask that looks like your face? And it blinks you. That would fuck me up, I'd be honest. That guy knows you took his ration. He can have it back. You're welcome in back. In the, uh, so how are you doing? He can have it back. I don't give a shit. The rations are awful. Put that on. We put the, the, and, uh, this one. Okay. Uh, we eat. Hang on. Good. I'll pick up the stuff once I get the outfit. Got to wait for Rykonov to show his face again. I wonder who saw me then, other than him. Maybe he just triggers like that when he sees you. I wonder. There he is. He's coming. Uh, thanks, I just returned from my uh, appointment and I'm having sausages and mash. Hey, I want to check in before I go cut my grass. Hey, that's awesome. Yo, Flower, welcome in. I have another horse. Super horse. What do you mean you got a super horse? <laughs> what are we, wait, what, which game are we talking about, Flower? Welcome in, by the way. How you doing, man? I am happy for your horse. Horses are good. Fridge? I can't open the fridge. Oh, that kind of horse. Hang on, let me look at this horse. Oh, that is a very pretty horse. Holy cow. It's got a cape? I think this might be the first time I've been subject to a, to a, a horse with a cape. That's incredible, dude. That's a beautiful horse. But he's taking forever. Where is he? No one has figured out his secret identity. <laughs> As in what he's from or his original horse name. Is it a Clark Kent thing? You put glasses on him when he's not got the cape on. God, where is he? Oh, wow. Is that... That's Clark Kent horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations on your horse, man. It's a beautiful horse. I'm also looking for my prized possession horse. I don't know where he's gone. Did he go in here? Oh, that was just a... Oh, there he is. Reading fucking books, isn't he? Come on. Get out of here. I'll open up the door for you, man. Come on. Where is he going? Where are you going? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh god. Alright, this is it, right? This is it. We're going up the stairs now, right? Right? It's gonna be great, right? I'm so impatient. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. <sighs> breathe, breathe. We got this.
Okay, he's gonna turn this corner. He's gonna he's gonna head towards the locker himself. It's faster if you just let him go there. It's faster if we just let him go there. It's gonna be fine. Ooh, okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. A little bit more. Little bit more. Little bit. Ooh, is there something underneath there? Where is? What is that? All right, here we go. Now fuck him up. Speak. Water. The colonel is weak against water. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Off to my grass. I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely week. You too, Alessa. I hope the grass goes well. Here we go. Officer uniform. And the mask. Perfect. Now we can just do anything. Oh, I can't use these things, man. Oh, hang on. to get that out the way. Now, let's have a bit of fun. What's up? Right, what is around here? Anything interesting around here? Are you doing your job? Are you doing your job? Hmm. Are you doing your job? Huh? Scientist, I swear to God. This looks fine. Hmm. <laughs> so this immediately takes him. So that's where the G stream we needed earlier was. <laughs> yeah, this is just a normal day, honestly. Whee! So, sir. Yeah, that's right. Call me sir, bitch. Forgive me for troubling you, sir. I forgive you. Forgive me for troubling you, sir. Right. Uh, let's get some of this stuff here. It's like better than bloody stealth camo. Need this. No, nope, don't need that. Sir. So, yeah. Yeah. Forgive me for trouble, sir. Anything in here? Hmm. Uh, imagine your manager just jump rolling off the first floor balcony right in front of you and slaps you. <laughs> if he did the whole roll off the balcony before he slaps me, I might accept it. I'd be more willing to accept the slap at that point. Ooh, scorpion submachine gun, fantastic. Keep up the fine work, sir. Oh, that's very useful. Uh, nothing else here. <laughs> Don't need to do anything in here. Uh, we have what we need, right? So, do I head up or down? I think I head up sir. and around. So, I'm going to see if there's any other way I can go. I don't think I can. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Keep up the fine work, sir. I already slapped all these people, right? Yeah, good. I th 
think I've searched this whole place. I think we're good. Um, I think we can do the whole progressing. Want to get a good look at that? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to check the next frog and see where we go from there. Y'all can stare at this. It's a mask. Can you tell? Stare into my eyes. Shaggy! Uh, average power tripping as it terrifies a new crew. Honestly, this is what it's like to work with me. You know? Well, I'll never work again. Um, hang on, what are we doing? How you doing, Shaggy? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, I need to pull up this. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Uh, so I got 50. Got that one. Got that one. I don't know where this one is. It says torture room, so this is well after the fact. Yeah, I think this is once we get up on the other side, maybe? No, this is weird, you see. It says... Find a room with several desks in it. There should be one another. This is such out of order, I feel. Unless I can go here earlier. You know? West Wing. Yeah, this is... Mm, I'm very confused by the ordering of this. I'm doing alright, Shag. Other than, like, fucking allergies today are really kicking my ass. Damp links. <laughs> Are they just going to ignore that their general has gone into the locker room and came out less uh, twinky? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're just going to be grateful about it. Uh, okay, so my concern is this one. How to get to this one. Um, I think I know where this is, though, and I think I can come here later. It's going to be a bit risky leaving it for later, I think. Um... Oh, maybe I can go there earlier. Motherfuckers. Okay. I think... Mm, I think I know where this is. It's 47's on top, right? No, 47's inside the building. This is... The numbering of this is completely messed up. Alright, I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work. No. No, I'm not going to do it. No, am I going to do it? Um, I'm going to do it, because it might not be able to do it later on. This is why it always gets troublesome. I wonder if I could take this disguise outside and be fine. We're, we're about to find out. I don't know if it's locked me into the section now or not. I don't know if my disguise extends to being out here. We will find out. Alright, so if I'm understanding the guide correctly, there's potentially a way to get into this building. No, this leads upwards, that's not right. Ah! This is it. Torture room. Oh, yeah, you can come here this early. I had no idea. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could come here earlier. So, yeah, I know where this one is. It's underneath the, the thing here. There it is. You get the camera o over here. Man, this is cool. I wonder if one of these is Johnny, then. Are you Johnny? Yeah. No, this is not Johnny. Sir. Yeah. Sir. Anything underneath here? No, okay. Is this guy Johnny? Sir. Neither of them. Alright, I gotta take this guy out so I can do this. Thank you, sir. 
Alright. Other guy seems fine. He's far enough away. Done. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Cover your eyes, chat. I uh, think they want to prevent you from killer Papa Johnny too early. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. I guess I should have got this outfit first and then run around and explored. Sir. Would have been a lot easier. I don't think I've ever came out to this area after getting the outfit. Thank you, sir. Like I've never run these grounds before with this outfit. It's kind of cool. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we need. We got everything. Um. I was a bit curious about what's in this. Cool. I think that's it? Okay. Alright, let's head up and uh, let's go and be tortured, I guess. Shouldn't do that while we're hungry, though. Mmm, delicious. Oh yeah, that, this guy in here. Where is he? You, dickhead. Huh? Alright. Uh, palm strikes are legit better. It doesn't hurt you much like a fist and it widens a strike. Heard there's a risk of someone's neck uh, getting hurt. Huh. Oh shit, is the one in this room? Like this connecting bridge area or does that room in there count towards this whole room? You know what I mean? Hang about. Um, no, the next one jumps to, like, out of the corridor way? Or maybe we are in the corridor way, then. Hmm. No, this is second floor. Hmm. Either way, we're going to be back here at some point, so I think we're good. This is a corridor. Yeah. There it is. Uh, that means I need to get rid of these two. No! Sir. Ooh. Have I missed my chance to do this? You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the Legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! 
Have you ever had a dream that you, um, you had, your, you, you could, you'll do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you'll do, you could you, you want, you want him to do you so much you could do anything. <laughs> what is going on, Nearly? <laughs> what? Did that roll the same hat? Oh, if it did, I can roll it for you again. Uh, th thanks for the thanks for the text to speech, Shirley. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. You're the man from the CIA. I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late. Don't tell me, the Shagahards. <laughs> exactly. I know. I've pointed my lipstick at so many people like a gun and no one's freaked out. Sokolov, what exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. The Shagohod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes. And that's not the end of it. Are they saying Shadow Heart? Yeah, they are. They are. To Asia, to all the the Shadow Hog is terrifying. Anything to do with Metal Gear as a concept and the nuclear um, politics around it, like the nuclear deterrent stuff and something as capable of nuclear weapons that I, you know, hidden from radars and stuff, is legit terrifying. Start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tension they never joke around with that stuff settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence the idea of using threats to keep one's yeah, deterrence is the perfect word to sum up this. Like, I have a big gun so that you don't use your big gun. The Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat, it will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, 
It's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow, some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. <laughs> I like the way they're referring to them as lovers. Are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the Virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. Finally, we can save Sokolov. I'm not going. Whew. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov. Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there, but even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day, I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. The cat farted so long ago, and it still smells. So now I'm anxious of whether or not he's like... All I wanted to do left something that's continuing the smell in his absence but it was not to be the space race between america and russia became no this is chocolate politicians. the space race and the arms race are one and the same you plan on playing phantom pain as well i did do that the first time we went through the series on the channel when i did metal gear mondays originally um i'm not sure just yet my scope for now is just going to complete the master collection and do some like you know like i'm doing the keratin ch challenge right now I think I'll do some watch parties for the graphic novels, maybe, as well. Um, I wouldn't mind doing the Phantom Pain again. I had a lot of fun with it. But before I touch Phantom Pain, there's also Peace Walker or Portable Ops. Maybe even doing the Acids again. I never played Acid 2. I completed Acid 1 on stream. I have people walking around in my attic over my head today and it's very distracting. Better focus more on the stream and blame the, the HVAC guys for not getting anything done at work. I agree, Deacon. It's like a fingerprint, isn't it? Come with me. You 
think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I know his balls better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. That is going to make rescuing him much more difficult. Uh oh. Come on. Come on, Stick. You can do this, man. Fancy judo. Disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. I thought this was such a badass moment. Just everyone in here fucking shot or beat down and just the boss standing in the middle. See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Assumptions made on what I did to Ivan. <laughs> send them to your homies? Nah, man, you're gonna send your fingerprints to your homies? I don't trust them. CQC is a basic form of CQC. Got it. Yep. He still holds back. Excuse my lack of law knowledge. When does Raiden get the big hat and join Johnny Cage? <laughs> uh, that's in the future. That takes place just after this, when when you know the human realm gets under attack. That's when stuff gets really weird. I thought this was pretty brutal. They did a good job of using very unique bespoke, like just for this segment, uh, textures on his face and the like. Those whiskey trails of blood, I thought, were really well done. You know, if you think about like the PS2 days, how often you see something like that. Um, I thought it was created really well. <clears throat> Tell me. Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. Never do that. You! Ouch. Uh, this is the PS3 version. <clears throat> but it was still based on the PS2. The the PS3 version is just cleaned up textures. My understanding everything else was kept the same. 
It was just really well designed in the PS2. Yeah, I remember when this one came out, actually, um, my PS2 couldn't handle it. I had to buy a new one because it was, like, on its last legs. Now then. And, like, the disc that they use for MGS3 was a bit fatter than your regular PS1 disc or something. PS2 disc, sorry. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Hmm. You've certainly seen your share of battles. Any particular moment you're referring to for MGS1, Cooper? Consider yourself lucky. There is a few lucky potential sentimental moments here. Yeah. Really like. Well then, let's get started. What is your target? Oh, is my control is vibrating. My health is going down a little bit too. Or Sokolov. Or maybe it's the legacy. <laughs> Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one, but even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Yeah, Volgan's an all round piece of shit. A dangerous piece of shit. Really My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? The bag they've done really well, too. I don't know if the polygon count was increased for the PS3 version, but I want to say that um, just the textures were cleaned up. <clears throat> I'd be surprised if it was um, any more than that, because Bluepoint didn't end up doing remakes, like, from ground up until Shadow of the Colossus, and then um, Demon Souls. Thanks, Beck. yourself go. That's what I want to see. <clears throat> it's no use. He's not going to talk. He's going to get to this position to because break. of nepotism instead of his own competence. Yeah, that and he got his hands on the, um, the legacy, right? Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. My understanding is, Deacon, he never takes a shower. Although I guess he is outside when it rains and he's fine. Yeah, those moments are really nice, Cooper. I agree. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. <laughs> You'll never live. Yeah, he's terrible at this. <clears throat> What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I love the way he reacts here. Yeah. I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not I love that. that. That's the only time you ever yes. see Vulcan scared. Apprentice. What do you want me to do? 
Let's see. Cut out his eyes. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? Yeah, Tanya. That smell. Tatiana. You're, you're the good. spy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know that smell. <laughs> Stop it! They got a fancy tour. Hey, oh, so. No, I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Oh, that's not the only um, mark he gets on his face in this encounter, cheese. I always thought it was such a nice little addition to this. They didn't have to do it, but it works. Ooh. Yep, there's the other one. And it actually doubles up on his face. Satisfied now. <laughs> so that's right. Well, that was the law reason for Big Boss having one eye was because of Ocelot. <sighs> and that's Ocelot putting a transmitter in him. So you survived the colonel's torture, eh? <laughs> Tee hee indeed, Cooper. Tee hee indeed. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Oh, hang on, hang on. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, she did the gesture as well. Everyone's doing the gesture, which I think is so funny. Calling him out how weird it is. That helps. One four four seven five. One four Run. four seven five. Let me write that down. I'll come in handy. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. 
You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. I'll be in touch. Damn. Well, we got a fork at least. Time to eat. Okay, I think that's probably a good time for me to call it then. What time is it? Yeah, let's do that. There's a plenty of stuff to do in here and talk about, but we can save that for next time. Ready to save, Snake? Uh, what happened to the food? Ah, don't worry. We we'll get that back eventually. Snake. <sighs> Snake. My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? <sighs> it feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. Ugh, change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the master comes for him, saying, the time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this... The master spreads his huge wings, and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on, I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula. Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. <sighs> yeah. You better not leave me without someone to talk to. <sighs> Please, Snake, think. There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. Okay. Just let me know if you start having nightmares about Dracula. <sighs> so, before I leave, there's a few tidbits here. So, I think that's also a hint where... If you save the game, like I just did, and close the game and open it up again, only at this time of the game, on the original PS2 version of Metal Gear Solid 3, you load into a demo um, of a completely different engine, of a completely different game, where it's a hack and slash um, dream sequence where you're a dude with two swords slashing a bunch of enemies. And then afterwards, if you call Sigint, he'll have a codec call with you talking about one of his nightmares where he dreams that everything turns into shit. Um, they're both fantastic little Easter eggs and they're not included, unfortunately, with the HD collection. I'm guessing because with it being a completely different engine within the game that it emulates, they probably didn't have the rights or the things to do with it. It was kind of fucking wild. Uh, if I remember right, or maybe next time when I'm streaming this, I will pull up um, a YouTube video so we can experience both the demo and we can experience the codec call with Sigint because I think they're very funny um, and they were really fun additions to the game. Uh, another thing that Cooper mentioned as well, there are so many ways to escape this particular prison sequence. One of them was when I went into first person and I saw Sorrow holding up a, co um, a codec frequency. That's not the only time that you can spot it, but that's the earliest time from my understanding. And if I type that in on this screen right now, it should open up the gates from my understanding. There's a few other ways to do it, and that's not the way I'm going to do it primarily, because I want to have some interaction with the guard on the other end. I want to save that for next time, because I think this is probably a good way, good place, sorry, to stop it. There might be enough um, to make one more stream of number three, depending on how we get on with the rest of the frog collecting. Because uh, we're, we're getting to the end of the game, and with the end of the game comes a sequence where it's really tough to guess whether or not we're going to get the frogs correctly. I'm not sure how exactly how I'm going to handle it, but my idea is I'll do my best to see if I can get it, play the sequences as normal, 
Uh, if I miss one, like we'll find out with the end screening. If I do fuck up, we load a previous save and I try again and I just skip all the cutscenes and just get to the end of it, basically. Because we've already, we already have seen them if I do fuck up. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. This has been a lot of fun. I really actually want to stream more of this. I'm having a really good time with it. Um, but I should take a break and I should have something to eat. Um, if I wasn't for the allergies today and me just feeling really tired generally, I'd probably push myself to do another couple of hours or whatever. But I had a good time. I'll be back on uh, Wednesday with Haley doing some Gears of War 2 anyway. If I'm feeling up to it, I might do some Monster Hunter stories tomorrow because it's been a while since I played that too. And that's also a really chill time. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. It's been really fun.